somebody that was, I guess, you know, venturing online. Hey, hey, too. Somebody venturing online to uh, to date, and it didn't go so well. It didn't go so well. We said we were going to talk about it this show, and so we are. And then there is um, what's the other? What is love the other? is blind. There we go. Love is blind. I just got through binge watching all of that season six just yesterday and today. I did, and it was emotional. And I don't, I don't like myself after watching it. <laughs> it really hurt my feelings a little bit watching that show. I'm getting my paint together. I think we all are. Salute, salute, salute. I don't know because my emotions was everywhere watching in the first two episodes. My emotions yeah. was already everywhere. I'm like, no, this is not okay. Just <laughs> that to you, darling. I can see I'm already I'm I'm already had no one I'm have to redo my nails because every time I open a goddamn paint it gets all up on my goddamn nail. Uh oh. <laughs> it happens. Right. I had some of my nails. I thought I didn't get a lot of paint on myself last time, but I, I did. I had a good little bit of paint on me. All right, I'm working on. I gotta lighten up some of my colors too. Y'all want to show y'all pictures? Because yeah, I, I can go ahead and highlight you real quick. Let's okay. show some. Time to put you on the big screen. Let's go. Okay, I know y'all can't <laughs> tell what it is yet, but we'll get there with love. <laughs> You're it's so silly. Right. There's a moon. There's a big heart filled with a lot of water and a lot of fire. And there's more water here. Let's go. Let's go. Just my five. You ready, baby? Yeah. Let's go. On this Gemini all day. All day. Okay, um, we get we gotta work on that lighting over there too with you because I can see a little. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, see me that light. Okay, so when we're doing these, we gotta work on like kind of like our lines, outlines. Hold on, Alexa. Set the lamp to white. Okay. Is that better? Um, no, ma'am. I can still I can see it. Can you guys see it in the chat room? How about that? We'll do it for the chat because you know this is for them. And then I know once you start painting in, they will be able to see it. Yeah. Chat, chat. Welcome to everyone. Please do us a favor and smash the like button, share. Um, and we are triple streaming right now, so. Those that are in my show, if you don't mind going to just my fives and hitting the like button, Tony's and hitting the like button, it doesn't matter where you stay in the chat. I love to set the lamp to purple. God damn. Okay, hold on. Let me move mine back and then I'll show y'all mine. I'm sorry. It's working on. Oh, that's purple. purple. I got purple in my hand that I was just trying to squirt out, but I was looking for the black. So this is my picture. Let me put me on the big screen here. There we go. So this is me. I drew this this morning. It was so cute. Sydney. You you know, you know, you know, I'm don't do sad. that. Don't be all that mushy gushy stuff. Now I don't need that. <laughs> he is cute though. He is cute. Very cute. Yes, Tony's live. Just my five is live, and I am live. Welcome to our puff and paint. Let me hit my um camera schedule here set here. I, I like it because it's animals. I was thank you. I was outside playing with the neighbor's dogs up here and then took mine out. <laughs> Play with them. What you do? I said, I, I, I like it because it's animals. I was outside playing with the neighbor's dogs earlier and then I took my, my dogs outside to play with them. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I apologize. I apologize. It is showing me something that i did not ask for it to show there we go it fixed itself perfect wonderful all right now i'm gonna just blow this up to make sure we can all be seen tony is already jumping ahead of us you see what i'm saying tony listen tony slow down i'm sorry i wasn't supposed to start yet are uh, you okay i'm just playing with you <laughs> <laughs> do your thing boo hey bandel hey girl thank y'all for coming through i appreciate it Salute to everyone. Salute, salute, Bobby, Regis. Yeah, if, if you are having a with us. I haven't looked at the chat yet, but hey. 
Gotta look at that chat, just my five. Gotta look at that chat, girl. So you can see what's going on. Oh. And then um and on top of that, now we, we who's starting this off? Just my five, because you freshly watched the movie, so you want to start off about yeah. this movie here. Yeah, because okay. all right. <laughs> so, that movie was crazy, huh? What was his name? Because I don't ever remember his name. name. I can't remember his name, but I know that crazy bitch named Liz. <laughs> the the crazy bitch named Liz. Okay, let's talk about this this lady named Liz here. A crazy bitch named Liz. I'm okay, what do you want to start now? We because we're talking like basically, you know how you guys get on 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 social media sites or whatever. Uh, but these are more like Tinder, I guess. Grind, whatever. I don't know whatever the accounts because I don't I don't get on them. Black Planet type stuff. Plenty of fish. Um, things like that. This is where this dude was looking for love, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, not exactly. He was looking okay. for love. Okay. He was looking for love. Lust. I apologize. You are correct. He was looking for Yeah, lust. he was just looking for a good time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. He did say that. And um, he let them know from jump that that's all he wanted. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, he made, well, that's all he wanted. So he made his little profile on Plenty of Fish, right? He said the first mm -hmm. day got no hit. Well, after a while, um, this lady uh, named Kari Terry Terry hit him up. Okay. So, back up, baby. This is not food. You can't have none, okay? So, <laughs> so uh, you know, he, he he's like, you know, what's up, what's up, what's up? So, they meet up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They chilling for a while. Or whatever, right? And he lets yes. her know that he's not looking for anything serious. He's cool with that. Mm -hmm. So he's like, "All right, bet." So um, after a while, this, he's he's a mechanic. Okay, so this lady comes to his shop, and her name is um. No, wait, no, wait. He means Liz first. That's Liz. That that what I'm talking about. Liz, yes. Mm -hmm. So. Harry is the one that came to his shop, right? And he's just like, oh, she's pretty, you know. Like, uh -huh. And so um she uh he got with her. Well, no, at first he was like, you know, let me be professional or whatever, right? Uh -huh. He's on the site or whatever, and then he see this lady and it's her. So he uh -huh. was like, Hey, I know you. And she was like, I know you too. And so they hooked up. And then she said, you know, um, she had came over his house or whatever. And um, so Liz shows up. And she was like, you know what? I left something at your house. I need to come get it. So then because Liz and him did talk. Mm -hmm. Wait for it. Right. Hold on, let's pause so everybody can make sure we can make sure everybody understands. He met Liz on the dating site. They mm -hmm. hooked up. They was getting it in. They were enjoying each other's company, right? On a, yes. on a surface level. Right. He went to work. He's under a car working. He sees Carrie. Right. And he's smitten from the minute he sees her. Exactly. Right? So he gets out. He approaches her. He, but no, he didn't ask for her number or anything at that time. Right. He's, he's professional. He said, yeah. He said, he's um, professional. She's my customer. I'm the manager. We're going to leave it at that. Right. But then he got back on the dating site because mm -hmm. even though he's entertaining Liz, you know, yeah, it's not serious. Right. right. And they agreed. They both agreed to that. Yeah. That it wasn't going to be serious. Correct. So he got back on the dating site and he comes across the profile of the woman that he saw at his mechanic shop. Mm -hmm. So then after that, you know, him and Carrie, which is the other woman, they got together. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, after they got together, Liz shows up at his house one night and she was like, I left something at your house. I need to come get it. It was the coat, right? He never said. Or something. I thought they said she said she left the coat or she she left she did leave something. 
Yeah, but I felt like that was a little bit awkward too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> At that point, I was like, mm. like right while he on a date, like okay, so convenient. But go ahead. Well, what like, I thought was what I thought was crazy was that he had to have the other lady leave all together for her to get whatever he, she wanted instead of him saying, "What is it that you left? I'll go get it." Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, and, but even, even crazier than that, you left something at this man's house. You know you left something at this man's house and you got to show up in the middle of the night to come get it. Right. Right. Why do you have to come at the middle of the night? Salute 3504 girl, Mr. Himself. Salute, salute hood therapy. Welcome to everyone in all streams. Hello, so, yeah, everybody. Okay. So how would y'all feel like before we even finish this? How would you feel if somebody pulled up, you know, uh, ex or or a dude that you used to talk to, and he just so happens to pop up at your house late night while you just so happen to have someone else? What would your reaction be like? Would you send your person off? Yeah, no. To give them something or just take it to them? Okay, yeah, break that down because I mean, like, what would your response be? Oh, I'm not. I'm not even monitoring your chat. I was trying to drop my link over here. Lord. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, uh, type in here real quick, and I can do it. It's okay. Uh, who's modded over here? Just type up how a poor girl is. Um, okay. I just did Indigo is as well. Okay, okay, okay. I think Indigo. But I take them. Um, I take them every show, for the most part, and then I have to. Uh, I have to add it back because you know what page we're on. There we go. Perfect. Now you can do it. Oh, um, that five hundred four says she dropping them. I'm in here now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What's going on, Beef Sector Podcast? Hello. Let me share a real life story with you, right quick. Okay. Hold on, we can't distract the people yet. I'm just like, yeah, no, I was just asking about that scenario. We want to stay on this. On this oh, you did ask the question. You did. You did. I'm sorry. Yes, I didn't okay. So, so she wants to share a real life moment. Oh, here we go. Let's so, go. This, this dude that liked me, right? And he was married. So you know, I ain't giving him nothing because nigga, you married. Right. Well, he show up at my crib one day, right? And by this time, I had a man, and my man was here. So I let him in. Come on. In. Right. Oh. <laughs> I know you hit. Yeah, yeah, I do. Bye. It was an awkward moment, I'm sure. Hi. Go home to your wife. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So your dude didn't feel any type of way when you told him to come in? No. Okay. okay. Listen, 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 let me tell you. When I'm with somebody, I'm with them, and they know I'm with them because I make sure they know I'm with them and only them. That part. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So, um, Tony, you said you you not you not doing it, not fake. Would you ignore the call? Would you just throw their stuff out the door? What would you do? Um, first of all, I wouldn't have opened my door or answered the call. Let's go. Because why are you here? Excuse me. Um, but <laughs> even if, let's just say we were coming in or out and you're there, like, or, you know, or you just won't stop calling or anything like that. No, I'm like, the more that you try to press me, the less that I'm going to uh, allow you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Okay, so, so I'll go and say sheer petty. I probably I definitely wouldn't have let them in my house if 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 I did answer the door or respond. And I definitely ain't telling my current company to leave so you can come no, in. No, like, I am not gonna say my current company because first off, I feel like that would make your current company uncomfortable. Um, and then they probably think it's something going on, like because why do you have to send them out? Like it doesn't make sense. Uh-uh. So right. Right. Listen, I'm uh, if I'm with you, I'm gonna let you know everything. And if that means I got to let this nigga in the house to show him that you're here and you're mine, that's what I'm gonna do. But the thing of it is this too, though, he wasn't with Carrie either, so she couldn't really be mad about it because that's true. They also had that understanding between them them that it was uh casual for the most part, or they was just getting to know each other, or however you want to put it. You know what I mean? So they did have that understanding too. So she she left, and I don't think that they had any problems behind it because they were still seeing each other after that. Right. But almost immediately, Liz started going after her. Right. Personal. Almost immediately. 
Yeah. Well, making wait, threats. Wait, 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 go ahead. Let's not even do that because check this out. Okay. So um after that encounter, he said they'd only seen each other for like a second, right? Said they only uh they only knew each other for like a second. Is that what you said? No, the two ladies, they only seen each other for a second. Yeah, yeah, um, like in person, right? Yeah, while Liz was standing outside and Carrie was standing outside, right? Mm -hmm. Well, um, a few days later, you know, well, no, 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 that night, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. He after, after um, Liz leaves, he calls Carrie and she was like, all right, well, I'm halfway home, so I'm just coming my house. So, feeling, right? Turn it down, turn the music down just like a that's song. what I was good because listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm trying to get into it. I think it's messing up her sound. Uh go ahead, boo. Go ahead and say your thing now. So they chilling for a few, you know, they chilling, right? And uh -huh. a few days later, after that, then um old dude, he gets um a text from uh Carrie and it uh -huh. says let's move in together so he texts her back i thought we talked about this oh wait right. well, no no she was at his house remember when mm -hmm. she when she told him that carrie was at his house he was at work and yeah. she yeah. was at his house chilling when yeah. she when yep. he got that he left her at the house because they had been talking and gotten comfortable around each other yeah yeah and so um he was like, she was like, let's move in together. And he was like, I thought we talked about this. Uh-huh. And then um, she started sending him all kinds of crazy text messages. Like, uh, you know, fuck you and you fucked up my life and, uh, you know, shit like that. So he goes back to his house at lunch and all her shit is gone. Mm. Now, for y'all in the audience, the person she's talking about now is girl number two that he met at the mechanic shop and online. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. having a good time and enjoying each other's company. And he went to work one day and she started texting him all this crazy shit. Mm -hmm. So um, after that, like some crazy shit happened. Like he was, um, she would send him all these crazy text messages all day and shit like that, right? And threatening him. And so one day he gets a visit from Liz saying that her car was um key, right? Mm -hmm. And she was getting all kind of crazy messages. And uh now I this part I can't remember if she had moved it if they had got back together first or if they had got back together after this, but her clothes were cut up. Okay, so from the way I remember this, right, um, I remember him trying to sneak out the other girl because the old girl, the ex-girl left her jacket or whatever, the first girl left her jacket. And then um, I think that he, he even said he explained it at some point, but then he said when he got back and was talking to the other girl, um, did we skip over the fact that aside from those regular messages or the, the moving in part of the threats and stuff coming in? Um, stay away. Well, never mind. I think I might be jumping because stay away yeah, from my message. Said, stay, she says, stay away. Dave. 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 Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, I don't, I, I know that is kind of weird. I think that they bonded based off of, yeah, the key getting, the, the car getting scratched up and him trying to warn, oh, you know, old girl, basically of uh, the other girl's threats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's what it was. At this point, he had gotten all them crazy messages from Carrie. She was gone. And mm -hmm. then Liz shows up in the middle of the night or something and was like, my car got keyed. Mm -hmm. And while she was standing there telling him about her car, she starts getting crazy text messages. Mm -hmm. Right. Threatening her. Mm hmm So they get back together, right? And mm -hmm. I think that's when her clothes got cut up. So Liz text him, I can still get in the house. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. And so uh Liz is so 
he's worried. And so he starts telling his um baby mom about this. What is her name? The baby mother? Yeah. Oh, I don't I'm not necessarily sure what, what her name was because I don't you know what I'm saying it was just that they had children with each other and they were doing their co-parenting thing. Mm -hmm. Right. But I don't remember her name. But okay, so the baby mama was like, Look, I don't feel safe. Uh, with my kids being there, so yeah, you know, whenever you come to see them, you gonna have to uh bring them to my shit, right? Mm -hmm. Now, meanwhile, uh, what's her name? Which one is it? Carrie goes missing. Carrie's mm -hmm. mom puts out a um misty persons on her, right? TB missing person report. Mm -hmm. Carrie's mom puts out a missing persons on her. And so they come to Dave's house and um, he's like, no, I haven't seen her, you know? Mm -hmm. But she's still, you know, sending all these crazy messages and texts and shit, right? Yeah. So she sends a text to her mom after her mom put out the um, missing persons on her. She says, I'm not missing. I just don't want to come home right now. I just don't want to be bothered. Right. I just want to be, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. And she left her son with the mom. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So then, um, so then after that, he's still getting crazy messages she's still getting crazy messages the clothes get cut up um she is uh telling him like she's actually sending text messages with descriptions of his customers that he's talking to at the moment okay mm, 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 at his job see that's what i'm talking about right there that's what i'm talking so, about right? he gets the police involved and uh -huh. they're trying to figure out where the fuck she is watching him from Okay. And they can't figure they can't figure it out. Like they cannot find her. Mm hmm Okay. Now, um at some point he uh at some point she starts uh texting the baby mom and threatening her to Mm -hmm. Definitely was threats on the baby mother, but I think that that was um that what that was after all girl went missing. You did say that that is yeah, because mm -hmm. then um I think no as a matter of fact it was the, the threats on the baby mother, and then he ended up having to move like or wanted to move with the baby mother to make sure that he could protect his family. Well, it was the cop that told him to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was a suggestion. That's the point. That was when it started getting real intense. When Real. she was calling people, because we we're taking it easy on how, at this time, allegedly Carrie is calling people like thirty times back to back, people mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. It was ridiculous. It, it was that is great. The stalking was to a whole nother level. I tell you that. It was worse than YouTube stalkers. I tell you that much. I wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> so, hey, um, hey, Lady La, Lady La, listen. Other parts. Lady La, it, it, it was worse than that nigga. You know what I'm talking about. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Lady La. No, ma <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, But I want to talk about this lady and this crazy lady and her stalking now. Tony, what do you remember from this part? Like, I remember when they moved in, he moved in and he had that whole thing going on. Um, like I said, with his wife and he, he had, a fun it was functioning, but then she started getting threats and I think she wanted to split or something, right? To protect her children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this point, um, hey, Lottie Dottie, hey, Viper Lil, hey, Cola. At this point, um, no, everyone. He's, they, the police are really investigating at this point because Carrie has been gone for so long. Mm -hmm. So they're really like trying to figure out what happened to this lady. They're checking everything. Um, 
And I think it was around this time because they really were, if I'm not mistaken, they was kind of looking at Liz, but they ain't really have no reason to. Because so Liz it, was the one that was uh, being under attack too, correct? Like she was one of the people that was... She, she was allegedly under attack as well. So that's how she kept them off her trail for so long. But at this point, I think they was looking at her a little crazy because what did you know she what? do? She we burnt down her house. We skipped. I was about to say, we skipped the part about the house being burned down. And first, old girl, she left. She left the dude and said she couldn't take it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she had lost her, uh, her burner. Matter of fact, when they pulled up to the, the burn or whatever, she was outside, said the kids were safe. They were not in the home at the time. And she said she couldn't take that. And she had to move out of town and get away. For her safety, wow. and so he and he felt alone at that time, and that's he when felt alone, but the stuff happened. The rocking had stopped oh, for a while too, if I'm not mistaken. When she yes. did that, stop for yes. a while. Now check this out. He moves out of town, right? Hold on, you jumping? You oh, because we she's just going to the part about the whole house being burnt down, and then that happening, and then she said she left, or and then uh, that's when the whole wife and situation was supposed to go. Because I had jumped earlier. And then the wife was getting her threats and stuff. And then we know that the woman was on. Yeah. The other woman came up missing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, I, I feel like there was another woman involved in this other than the wife, the Carrie, Liz. I feel like there was somebody else. The mother. Okay. The mother. Did he get back on the dating site? Yes, he did. He did. Now, here's the thing. That's wait, though. Wait, wait, wait. Because if you jump to him getting back on the dating site, you got to, we 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 have, we got to remember the part where, um, what, what happened where he had to, no, see, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. No, go ahead. Never mind. Don't let me say it. Okay. Oh, I'm anxious. <laughs> he, gets back, he gets back on the dating site, okay? Mm -hmm. And he finds this woman. And they're sending text messages back and forth. So they set up a thing. So he's waiting at the restaurant. And he's waiting and waiting and waiting. And then um, right as he's about to... Oh, see, you know, that is ahead of time. Because that means you. we haven't even told the part about how he had to move to get away. Oh, yeah, he did. Because he, he was he moved to get away from the crazy woman after you know what I'm saying everybody else is split and he was you know there he moved to try to relocate you know what I'm saying get himself a new job uh you know make something better with himself and he said he hadn't been received that's when he said he hadn't been receiving something for a while mm -hmm. and then he went back on the site yep. and and now let's go okay yeah okay. so now he um he went back on the site okay so he's texting this new woman mm -hmm. and they set up a date right mm -hmm. so he's waiting at the restaurant waiting and waiting and waiting and she never shows up as soon as he's about to leave he gets a message from her she was like i'm running late i'm on my way but she still never showed up never showed up just had him sitting there uh-huh now check this out whole time it was liz but he started getting messages from carrie while he was there too didn't he or right after that time, he got I a message know. from Carrie that was like, you know, it's still basically like it's still F you, you ruined my life and all of this. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you ruined my life and I'm going to ruin yours. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. It was Carrie the whole time, my bad. Yeah, yeah. not Liz. It's still, it's still, it's still yeah. Carrie. Yeah. So, um, all right. So he found that out, right? And in the meantime, no, I know he found out it was how she messaged when she messaged and said, like, yeah, it's me. And while he yeah. was at the restaurant, like, ain't no date. Oh, ain't yeah. No he, date. Said, he said, it's Carrie. Fuck you. I mean, he, he, Liz, Carrie. he said, it's Carrie. Fuck you. Woo! Man. I don't know. Just went off. Just went off. And so that's where he said he realized that he messed up because when he jumped back on that site, he gave, he, he dropped his new location. And he hadn't been around, so she didn't know where he was in the world. But when he did that dating thing, she finally knew where he was again. Mm -hmm. She was sending emails to people and everything this whole time. Mm -hmm. So, um, he, uh, now there's a police call. A woman gets shot. And it turns out that it's Liz. 
that got mm -hmm. shot. But when she got shot, she made it seem like she was in the woods running away or somebody take, mm -hmm. uh, coming after her, fearing for her life type deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they get back together after this shooting, right? Mm -hmm. And then after that, wait a minute, what happened after that? I'm about to spark up while you think about what happened after your camera no, gets I, I remember a little bit after that, but was it that they got back together after that when she, the shooting? Because I thought that's when everything unfolded. Mm, they got back together because got back together um, after the fire, I thought. No, it was something that pushed them back together. Let me see. Oh gee, I watched this document. But the shooting, I, I think, is when they had her in holding her, wasn't it? And they was asking questions and yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had already been back together after that. This junk is crazy. Because the, at that point, all right, it was it was at this around this point. I'm sitting here like, I should be Liz this whole time. And I was like, nah, I'm tripping. This she was Liz the whole time. Liz set her own house on fire. Liz shot herself. Liz was sending threatening messages to herself. Liz was sending threatening messages to him. Liz was sending threatening messages to his baby mama. Mm -hmm. His mama. A lot. Care. She was messaging the girl's mom too. Yep. She was doing a whole lot of messaging. Now, before you say it was Liz the whole time, let's not forget that Liz is the one who, when that lady went missing, what's the other lady's name? Carrie. 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 Liz is also the reason why Carrie went missing and Carrie was uh gone gone. But how they found out was crazy, right? But dig this. When Liz what? moved, the only reason why they were able to figure out it was Liz. Going to was her boyfriend that bought that dude's house, the tech dude, right? Yeah, but 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 the reason why how they found that how the tech how the guy found her tech boyfriend was because basically at this point, um, I think he hired a private detective or something. Investigator, yeah, something yeah. like that, yeah. That person knew a forensics investigator or somebody that was into, he, he did a lot of uh, web sleuthing, basically. Mm -hmm. He did coding, mm -hmm. he understood codes and all of that stuff. And so he starts researching the, um, what's it called? Your, your internet address? IP address. IP address. Researching the IP address uh, addresses that were attached to all the emails, right? Mm -hmm. And it's it was this drum. It was this y'all. Oh my god! The way that he broke this down was like there's billions and billions and billions and billions of billions. Of billions. Like, yes, he had to basically get um, create a program mm -hmm. that would find the commonalities in these um, IP addresses. Mm -hmm. And he got it down to like five from from a whole bunch of different ones. He got it down to like five. Mm -hmm. Once he got it down to five, he got it down to like the region he was looking for or something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, y'all, when he finished and he got to the IP address that was the main one and he tracked it, <laughs> it mm -hmm. tracked to his co-worker's house. Let's go. His his words were, well, you know, it it, it gave he gave the guy's name and he said, but it it went to his IP address, but I'm his boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, we got a question in the chat. What show are we talking about? We're talking about a uh, lover killer stalker. It's on Netflix, and it's really good. Mm -hmm. So they question this man. And he was like, well, yeah, you know, uh, my girlfriend has been using my computer since her house burned down. Burned down. Uh -huh. And her so name he is the man the whole time. Uh -huh. mm, 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 mm. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, now Definitely. Like, okay, this is lit. So now they're checking Carrie's car and everything because Carrie is still missing, right? Mm -hmm. They're checking Carrie's car and everything. They're checking for blood stains. They can't find no blood stains. Splatters, right? Anything. So they start taking um, the upholstery apart 
in the driver's seat they didn't find anything in the passenger seat the foam underneath the upholstery there was a whole a bunch of yeah. mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. like in the but, cushion yeah they still never found her body nope so did the, how they found out that she was actually dead though was they were going through um liz's photos i think on her computer i think she tried to wipe everything but there was like some photos and stuff that she still had Forgot and he, gets, he gets to one photo and he sees what looks like a foot well, wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute wait a minute because they had went to dave they went to dave and they were like well is there anything that you can think of any electronics that you can think of that you haven't um given to us and he was like wait a minute he went to his storage and got this old tablet and then they saw the SD card in the tablet, which was white, but they could go back on the history and see what was deleted. Now go ahead. Okay. So they end up finding this random picture. And I think it was that, was it the same guy or was it the detective? I don't know. Somebody that was looking into it found this picture of what looked like a foot. And the picture was not a great picture, but something about it, it looked like the way the picture was taken, he was like, that's probably a foot of a dead person mm -hmm. it was so the he, veins it was the veins he was watching a show and they were yeah. talking about how the veins puddle up when you die yep exactly. yep exactly so he shows the foot also had a tattoo on it so he shows the foot to Carrie's mom and she identified her daughter by the yes, tattoo on her foot yep that's sad. The girl was dead. The whole so time. they charged Liz with murder. And um, I think they were thinking they were going to have a hard time proving it. Which mm -hmm. they probably would have. But for the, what was the thing? I can't think of what the linchpin was. Like, that was like the thing that was like, yeah, you can't deny that. Oh, oh, because they, the blood. They connected, or no, no, it wasn't the blood. There was something that belonged to Liz that they found in Carrie's car. I can't remember what it was, though. I don't even remember. Mm -mm. But I know I'm glad that they hemmed her up, though. Something very that's some maniac stuff. That shit crazy. Now, poor um, Carrie, all she was doing was having a good time with this new man that she met. Enjoying his company, mm -hmm. and little did she know he got a crazy ass bitch mm. that's obsessed with him and willing to commit murder in order to keep him. Who? Yeah. Listen, that's the heavy. The point Think is, end up. What happened? The point is, stay your ass off a of tender. I mean, no, plenty of fish. That was plenty of fish. It was PLF. There's gonna be some people going on there now, and they're gonna run into a carrier too. Bless y'all hearts. <laughs> well, let's Bless not act like heart. we can't run into one right here in the street in broad daylight. You sure can. Sure. Well, yeah. I think it was just it was yeah that was just a lot. That was a lot. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm over here into it. Me too. <laughs> so I really. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. I was gonna say that was the dark side of love. Mm hmm It can get a little dark sometimes. Yes. And it's the best. <laughs> but it can get dark. Love is Blind is the other show mm -hmm. we were going to discuss. I like that. I like that show because it was emotional. See, now I got to take, I got to take a smoke break. I like that show because it was emotional. Um, But then I didn't like the show because it was emotional. And then, I mean, I had a lot going on during that show. Um, How far did, were you able to get just my five? Uh, well, uh, shit. I, my adrenaline, 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 
my adrenaline was going after the movie and I took a nap. Okay. So this one's going to be new here. And this one, it's actually, it's more than, um, what, six seasons. So I, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to go back and watch the other ones. Uh, just because that last one had me going. And then I seen all of the, some of the people in the reunion or whatnot, but, um, it, I'm drinking rosé, Regis. I need to stop mm -hmm. telling what I drink on this internet, though. That's true. Uh, <laughs> That's um, true. wait. What was I gonna say? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it was she said it was a thumbprint that they found. It was it the thumbprint? It was. See, my bad. I this just was like just... they were able to track it the way that they were because she she would have got away with all of that. And I and if I'm not mistaken, I think that she would have did something to his his uh baby mother, mm -hmm. probably his children. Like she was really a loose cannon. The fact that she waited for so long and then was able to track him down, wait, like waited for this man to get back on the doggone dating app just to track him down and pretend to be somebody else to go on a date with him. Oh, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We forgot all about the part where uh the baby mama was at the park with the kids and got a text saying. Uh, your son is on the slide and you're pushing your daughter on the swing. Yeah. The oh, cop, yeah. Yeah. The cop um, advised him to move back in. That's <laughs> what why they did that because of that right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The cop advised him to move back in with his baby mama. Mm -hmm. and the cop had a motive for that because after that, they started getting like really emotional phone calls from her. Like, um, you know, was, he said it was sending her in a frenzy. That way they'd be able to, you know what I'm saying, track her or try to find her or something. So um sent her into something. She has started um they uh when they had her in for questioning, something happened. No, that's why that's what happened. Um when he moved back in, that's when the whole shot in the woods thing happened. Mm -hmm. And then they, they were able to pull her in. And see what the heck was going on. Yeah, that's when she got real dramatic at that point, for sure. But so, on. Uh, let me tell y'all what the basis of Love Is Mine is about, because I know everybody don't watch it. Hi, it's Coca. Um, I know everybody don't watch it, but the basis of the show is is where people basically find love um, without mm -hmm. seeing each other. That's the basis of the show. So um, they pick all these single people, men and women, to come and live in these um, in, in one place. Basically, all the women are on one side, all the men are on the other side. They meet up and have these dates in what they call pods, which are separate rooms, really cozy. They have, you know, like a couch and it's like a nice little ambiance going. And it's this big wall in between you and the person you're talking to. You can hear them, but you cannot see them. You are also, you're not supposed to talk about what you look like, but I don't ever hear them give like specific rules. Right. But um, basically you talk and you get to know people and it starts out like a speed dating thing almost because it's every man for himself, every woman for herself. So it could, it could be 20 men and 20 women and you're just talking to everybody to kind of see who you're going to mesh with. Once you start meshing, then you um, start planning your dates more exclusively with mm -hmm. this person, you know, that you that you kind of set your sights on. Now, I've watched all six seasons, and what usually happens, and it's usually one-sided, is more for the men, there's usually an option mm -hmm. for them, and the women are usually the ones kind of waiting to be picked. They and get then, hung up on one dude. Yeah, the women get to like in one person. And it always starts out where everybody's rooting for everyone to fall in love. Of it course. always starts out that way. But as time goes on and people start picking and choosing, people start either getting tight lips about who they're, you know, kind of have their sights set on it. Like the first couple of days, everybody's like, oh, Dave is so nice. Ooh, what mm -hmm. about awesome? What about Peter? Oh, Peter is so great. He would be great for you. Da 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 da. You know, oh, they're doing all of that at first, and then are <laughs> choosing. Then everybody be in that mug looking at each other with the side eye, like it's like you talking to my man. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that's you know how women are, baby. The daggers start flying and all of that. Mm-hmm. And they have to live together until the end of this, okay? So, mm-hmm. um, like I said, there's usually a man that has an option. Occasionally, you'll have a woman that has an option. And occasionally, you'll have a man and a woman who both have options who, you know, choose each other. So right. Awesome. Um, so this season, y'all gonna have to forgive us about these names. Matter of fact, let me look up some names. Please look them up because I'm gonna tell you, I don't remember not uh, many of them unless you say them. It was more I'm, really, I'm really bad about remembering names from these types of shows. Clay, AD, all day. Um, yeah. who, the dude was his name, Steve, or some jump. The one that, that mm, I don't even want to jump ahead. He made me mad. I tell you that. I don't know what his name is. Um, we're gonna look up the cast, yeah. <laughs> all right, so. Oh, Brittany. Poor Brittany. Ah! <laughs> Not poor Brittany. I'm going to show y'all who Brittany is. Y'all can see. This is Brittany. Aww. Okay. Um, cute chick. She, I think she was from the South, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't know she was 25. She actually looked much older than 25. Mm. I'm just saying she did. Um, this is Alejandra. She didn't get picked, so we're gonna move on from her. I would say Brittany didn't get picked neither, though, right? Because I don't, yeah, yeah Brittany is the one that married the guy with the braids. What Brittany is the one that married the big dude with the braids. You forgot all about him, didn't you? You're talking about season six, yes. I don't remember no big, no, the no interracial uh, couple, honey. Uh, was she marry him? She she was going to go. Well, yes, yes. Only yes, two okay. couples. Only two couples made it to the altar this year. Oh, don't, don't make me cry right now. <laughs> so mm-hmm. this is Ad, stacked like a brick house, heavy yes. ass eyelashes. Yes. <laughs> Not heavy eyelashes. <laughs> Very heavy. <laughs> Them eyelashes, baby. Mm. It was the altar for me. Never mind. You know what? Let me mm, let me hush. Mm. This is Sarah Ann. She's um she's cute girl. Cute girl. little Sarah Ann. Um uh, see, some of these people didn't make it, so we're just they didn't even get dates on the show, so we're not gonna mention this. This is yeah. Laura. <laughs> Let's okay. go, Laura. This is our girl, Jastic. Jastic, Jastic. Jastic. firecracker, baby. Jastic. Okay, so you're gonna need your uh, your EpiPen. <laughs> hmm. This is big head ass Chelsea. Y'all yeah, let's go. Time. Big head ass Chelsea. All right, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's Chelsea. I think there was a Chelsea on last season too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh Lord. Hold on, let me scroll past all these people that they didn't get that. This is Matthew. He was one of AD's picks pretty early on. Did I say Steve? I called that man Steve. (laughs) That would he get? It didn't even matter. With the braids that I was talking about, his name is Teacher, the principal. Middle yes. school principal. Yep. Why like Tom Parker though? Why okay, so like- I'm not gonna lie, Tony. Before we even get into this story, did did uh did the principal? What's his name? Kenneth. Um, did Kenneth give you a tambourine player vibes? Just a Absolutely. question. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Okay. And I don't know if you caught on the reunion when they had showed him or had him come out that son, they pan to a man smiling bright as I don't know what. I was like, I didn't finish the reunion. 
Okay, so I'm not going to tell you then. That was just the part where they came and did You can tell me. It's, I only have like maybe 20 minutes left, but I didn't get to him. Anything about oh, That him. was in the beginning. So if you got 20 minutes left, it, yeah, that happened in the beginning. You might want to go oh, back. Okay. Come out. Mm -hmm. You know how shady the TV is. Mm. This is Jimmy. Jimmy, That's Jimmy. Something. Jimmy was something else. Yeah. I can't stand a man that wears dress shoes and no socks. This is Clay. Clay was handsome as oof, child. I'll get out. <laughs> he was fine. Mm -hmm. um, nice chocolate. Nice chocolate. This is Trevor. My God, Trevor had some mess going on, honey. It's Trevor. Ah! What? Man. So you saw Let that on the reunion? You see his mullet. He's proud of his mullet. He is proud of his mullet. Yes, he is. <laughs> proud mullet wear. Uh, not Drake, honey. I didn't know there was nobody named Drake. I didn't know who was Ariel. They ain't choose him, girl. How he get left behind? There's been a lot of people that just wasn't. Yeah, I saw him, but he was not. Yeah, they never went to his pod. I guess he never made no ma any matches. It wasn't good enough. This is Jeremy with an A. a. Yes. Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, after his mama named him Jeremy, how many family members call him Jeremy? <laughs> no, no. This is Johnny. This is Johnny, guys. <laughs> oh, jo wait, show Johnny again. Johnny is the only one in. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Little Johnny. Him. I didn't even right. show his girl. Hold on, let me go back and show his uh. His lady, his 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 woman. What was his, her name? That's a good question. That's sad. We don't even know. Oh, here she is, Amy. This is Amy. Mm. That's um, Johnny's counterpart. Okay, I think mm -hmm. that's everybody. Now, wait a minute. I got a question because they're not seeing each other, right? So they're choosing each other strictly off personality. Yes, personality between the wall, like, going in a room. So, yeah. if you're on a show and nobody's seeing you, and you get chose, and you don't get chose strictly off of your personality, you need to go home and reevaluate some shit. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, some, the thing of it is, they have to. They only have a limited amount of time to yes. partner up. And at the end of them choosing somebody, it's literally them proposing to this person. Right. They, the show is about getting married. Right. Can you really see yourself getting married? Is love blind? Can you see yourself getting married off of this, you know, limited time to get to know each other? But there's levels to it. There's levels to it. The proposal part was based on just, you know what I'm saying, in each, in separate rooms. And I like the fact that when they did do their dating, that they, um, that like, it would be food on the other person's side or they have food yeah. together and they yeah, do the same they thing. Have the same yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was cute. That was cute to me. Mm-hmm. That was really cute. So uh once you propose or get proposed to, then like the next day there's a reveal and you get to finally see this person that you've mm -hmm. chosen or that chose you. Mm -hmm. Y'all apparently gotta choose each other because you gotta say yes. I mean so they meet each other for the first time and then after the after all the couples have matched up. Mm -hmm. They whisk everybody away for a romantic getaway to some beautiful place where mm -hmm. they can drink and, you know, hang out with each other and hang out with their new partner and meet all these. Uh, so basically all the women get to see some of the men or maybe one man they didn't choose, depending on who actually gets to go. Right. So mm -hmm. you may or may not see someone you were dating at some point while you're with your your chosen person. Right. When you get to this beautiful island or wherever they take you. Destination. And mind you, it's like, what, two or three days? And and they, they're together as couples, so to see how they can deal with each other together. Yeah. And um, it was some ups and downs, too, on that, on that, that trip as well. Absolutely. So one of the things that stood out to me the most Mm -hmm. um, about when they met each other was basically how everybody was just, well, how Jimmy specifically 
was just shook by AD, baby. He was like, whoa. Not Jimmy, you talking about Clay. No, I'm talking about okay. Oh, yeah, oh talking, you're talking about the trip. Okay, no, 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 no. I got you. When Jimmy saw her and then he yeah, he made that compliment. Yeah, but I went too fast because I didn't talk about any of them meeting each other for the first time face to face. Right. Clay okay. and A D were okay. Let me go back to the pie. A D, which is the 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 chocolate Barbie I showed y'all. She was in between two men, Clay and Matthew. Matthew, right? Mm -hmm. And Matthew in the in the pods with the other guys, or in the you know the dorm or whatever with the other men, he was very tight lipped about everything. He was not friendly at all. Wouldn't talk to anybody, you know, mm -mm. to himself, right? But mm -hmm. when he was talking to AD, he just opened up. He was like a whole other person, you know. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, and yeah. hold on. Let, let's start off now. Because Matthew, first off, when I didn't think that Matthew was going to survive. Let me go ahead and take my smoke break because Matthew just yeah. blew me. Matthew gets in the room as far as the dating is concerned. And Matthew was like, listen, I got like a 10 page, uh, 40 questions thing going on here. I'm going to do all of the asking questions. And so it, and they were showing him in different rooms with certain women. And it was crazy how <laughs> it was crazy how he was asking questions. And if they didn't answer the question right, Matthew was done. It's a wrap. Like one woman said, um, he said, pick a number between one through 10 and I'll give you one of the questions. So mm -hmm. she was like four. He was like, pick another number. That number has been picked too many times. You know what? I'm, done. I'm like, oh, oh, child, no. And, then, and how dare, and don't ever, okay, try to ask him a question because he wasn't answering questions. He said, I'm doing the asking of questions. But he did just so happen to get with AD and AD flipped him around, like, mm -hmm. got him talking. So go ahead, Tony, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No, you good. I was going to say, um, yeah, so she was liking Matthew and then she uh, met Clay, who she also liked. But Clay was giving her the vibes of like the typical man that she would just date in the real world. Like she had a general idea of what he looked like based on the things he was saying about his himself. Because, you know, humility was definitely not Clay's strong suit. No. Whereas Matthew was opening up to her and being very sensitive and, uh -huh. you know, taking it pretty seriously. And not saying that... Um, Clay wasn't, wasn't, but yeah, seriously. But he was more concerned with letting her know he was a ladies' man. You mm -hmm. know, he got a bag. He's used to basically getting whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. Trying not to be so shallow, which is why he's here. You know, trying to yeah. find out if love is blind. Okay, mm -hmm. but then eventually, AD starts warming up to Clay. Well, she she was already warm to him, but then she starts actually considering yeah. him because yes. he shared some, some things with her, like about his childhood and you know all of these things about you know how he feels about love. His communication was getting better. Yes. Yeah, he started doing a really good job of trying to open up to her, so she, you know, let him in. Um, she was still entertaining uh, Matthew. Matthew. And Mm -hmm. at the time. But she was taking Clay seriously. I don't remember Clay really um talking to anybody other than her. Was he? Uh no. Well, no. I did it did they show him with somebody else or I don't remember him talking to anybody else. Like, if he did talk to somebody else, it didn't matter. Yeah, they didn't really show it. So she was really his person of interest. He was he was talking to somebody else. I don't I remember who though. Was, it doesn't matter. You're right. So um, <laughs> it comes to a point. I'm just going to go through each each little couple instead of like breaking up the whole show. Um, yes. It comes to a point where basically um, Clay was like kind of letting it be known that he was interested in choosing her. But then he starts asking her. Um, he starts saying really something about, her. well, you know, if you're not built like this, Da, 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 da. If you don't look like this, then I can't be. Uh... Mm -hmm. And she would not tell him what she looked like. She wouldn't tell him what she looked like. She was upset. 
she felt like it was very shallow and she left the pod. Yeah. But she was she was hurt behind it, which is why I knew she was gonna choose him anyway. It, she was hurt, but I like how when when she came back, remember they ended up having a conversation, but she was talking, she started like spilling her beans about how she had another connection and then they had that heated argument. Yeah, she tells him, listen, you in here playing and worrying about what I look like and it's somebody mm -hmm. in here that already done chose me. Uh -huh. and, he, and he was too busy screaming, um, well, I ain't gonna marry you if I don't know what you look like. <laughs> And so she, she was like, tells him, the purpose. She tells him it's Matthew. Yep. Because he wanted to know who it was so bad. And he was so upset. Like, he, that's who you was. Yes, baby. Yes. And uh, he was just like, listen, I don't even know why you would entertain him. He's not a nice guy. He's, you know, He's not for you. Like you're gonna regret this. And da 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 da. Mm -hmm. He was giving her all kind of work about it, and uh, so she's crying and being apologetic when she really has no reason to be. Yeah, ladies, that's the key that you know you're dealing with a narcissist. Hello. When you find yourself apologizing for things you didn't do, yeah, remember that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so. I'm just a little closer so y'all can see. So anyway, she tells him that he goes back into the the place where all the men are, and he's livid. He's so mad, he, but then he just he couldn't do nothing about it. Look mm -hmm. fine. Remember, he started crying, and homeboy was looking at him. He got like, emotional because he was like, "Yeah, it's hard to open up, and he don't he don't do that normally." And yeah, and they was all consoling and talking to him in the pod in the male pod. Yeah, he was like, I opened up to her. I told her this. I told her that. But see, he got to yeah. realize that what attracted her to him was his vulnerability. And then when he started, you know, you got to look like this. The guy you going to marry you then that, that was a whole different person. Exactly. That's or true. was it? Or was that his true self? Or was it? There you go. Because it could have definitely been his true self. You know what? And well, because if I jump, I'm a yeah, never mind. Go ahead. Because you can think about how easy it is to be someone else when there's no one to look you in your eye. Mm -hmm. You can just sit over there and make up anything. Like, how <clears throat> Have we, are we talking about Matthew? <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> at the Ooh, moment, yeah. I was talking about Clay, but uh, I'm I know, just saying, but I'm just, Matthew was something else. I'm not gonna lie. Salute, salute, salute to everyone coming into the room. So, um, okay, so with the clay part, what what part? Of, where are we at? Where are we? Where are we? Okay, so we're breaking down. I think at that point, Clay was like, "Yeah, it's do or die." You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to go ahead and, and claim what's mine. Mm -hmm. So, and, and Ad, they had their little conversation about it, and at the end of the day, he was basically like, "You know, I want to be with you." He chose her. She chose him. They gone, they ride off into the sunset together. All right. Yep. And she, uh, I don't think she really told Matthew anything because didn't something happen and he left? Okay, so they talked. Um, and yeah, I do remember this. They talked because the other girl left. Uh, there was the there was a point where Matthew was, you know, like he said, he was opening up right on the sofa and talking to AD. But he was also talking to other women. And he was like, you know, Eddie, I know you're talking to other, you know, other dudes or whatnot. And so um, the other female, uh, AD was out talking to one of the other girls in the pod and coming to find out like what she was saying. She didn't want the other girl to hear because, you know, she was talking to Matthew as well. But come back out, the other girl came back out and was repeating some things in front of AD that Matthew had said to AD as well, i.e. like, I want to just leave the show and go marry you off back. What do you want me to do? Um, like, I want your father's permission. And then that yeah. was where AD felt like he was playing in her her emotions because he she's like, well, I just told you, you know, I lost my father. I lost my <laughs> father. You're telling me you want to ask my father for, uh, you know, my hand in marriage and, and him to walk me down the aisle. But the yeah, same thing, he to find out, same like, thing he said to the other girl. And so she got emotional and that other girl left. And then when they were talking, AD and him was talking, 
he basically, you know, he was like, well, I feel like she's, the, uh, you know, I'm the reason she left. And it's like, I hurt, I hurt her. And AD was like, hurt her. <laughs> AD was pretty much like, okay, it's yeah, I'm, I'm over it. Like, what do you mean you hurt her? He was like, well, I hurt two women. She was like, hmm. She ended up walking out on him or whatnot. Mm, okay, okay, okay. See, I couldn't remember that part. Yep, yep. All right, so so now we got Clay and AD. They're a couple. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. Amy and Johnny, I don't, and that's the, they are actually the ones who got married. I checked out on them pretty early because I felt like they were just way too perfect. And I uh, knew that they were going to fall madly in love and have a whole lot of babies from the beginning. Who? The ones that got married. Oh, they of course. Married. Yeah, you could tell that that was real chemistry. Yeah. There's no question about that. None. You know. They and I think he might have been talking to somebody else. But even he was eventually like, nah, this is mm -hmm. what I want right here. <laughs> Let me stop playing with my blessings. Right okay. now. For real. <laughs> Know what you want <laughs> right now. <laughs> so they linked up pretty fast, and I don't even remember. I don't even think Amy entertained anybody else the whole time. Uh, I don't honest. either. I'm trying to remember, and I don't know. Uh, all right. So you got them, and then you got Chelsea and Jimmy, mm -hmm. and uh, Chelsea, Jimmy, and what was our girl name? Jessica, wasn't it? Jessica. <laughs> yep. Ooh, this little trio here. And then mm. Trevor with the mullet. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So Jimmy is seeing Chelsea and he's also seeing Jessica. Mm. They were both aware of this in the competition with uh pretty Fierce. Stiff in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had their own little cliques or whatever, and they would both be, you know, they're both like plotting on each other. You can see them like eavesdropping, trying to listen how this one's date went with Jimmy. So Jessica starts like at, at this point, I'm just gonna kind of fast forward to when the competition started getting pretty stiff and intense. First of mm -hmm. all, wait, let me rewind. Jessica has a child. Chelsea has been married and divorced. So mm -hmm. both of these women kind of had these little, you know, things that they needed to let Jimmy know about before they really kind of got into it with him and got serious with him. Mm -hmm. And they both decided to tell him the same day. Crazy. Jessica goes first and she's on a date with Jimmy and she tells him about her daughter. And his reaction was priceless because he was just like, he didn't really say anything. He just sat there quiet. Uh -huh. Like it made me nervous. It was definitely a nervous quiet. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! Like, what's what's really gonna happen with this situation? <laughs> he was so quiet. He was like, uh, and of course she's like, uh, hello, you know, okay. like, you give me something I'm, here. <laughs> and he was Awkward. like, well, I'm just, I'm just processing. All right, so then. He ends up saying it's not a it's not an issue. Right. Right. So then he comes his date with uh Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Chelsea comes in and Chelsea says, Okay, I've been married before. Mm -hmm. da -da -da -da, which really wasn't that big of a deal. But after he had just heard the other news that he heard, he was just sitting there again. It was just a, a, some more stuff on me. Yeah, she was like, I got something to tell you. Uh, yeah, and he's like, "Okay, what is this?" <laughs> this one thing he thought the show was playing tricks on him at this point. Yeah. He was just sitting there like, "Uh, what?" So, uh, it seemed like he took it away, but he really didn't. So she was kind of upset because she's like, "Wait, is he mad at me? Like, what? You know?" And yeah, then he, he was already upset about that other information, but I think he did tell her like. What you told me was not as, you know what I'm saying, as he deep as what old girl told me. He did. He did say that. But she was still, mm -hmm. like, feeling the way because that, yeah. what we didn't know at that point was that is just her personality. Oh, yes. Lord, Chelsea yes. is a I feel some kind of way type of bitch. Yeah, all the time. All, all the time. 
I figured when, and I'm glad that she did admit this um, during the reunion that she did say, you know, you could see that she had a lot of insecurities because that's exactly what I was seeing. I'm yes. like, this is ridiculous, girl. Like, you too insecure. And then she, but to sit on the camera and then be like, well, I'm very secure. And I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Why you're not. not like people, People get security mixed up with um, baseless arrogance. Yeah, uh, it's not the same thing. She's she very arrogant. Not secure. She, yeah, yeah. So, she's also seen Trevor. And she tells Trevor. Trevor didn't hear nothing about that. He's like, oh, okay. Huh? Um, <laughs> so at this point, let's just fast forward a little bit. Jessica basically decides that it's time to let, to make Jimmy, to kind of push Jimmy into making a choice and proposing to her. Mm -hmm. So they go into a date and baby, she was in there like, uh, I'm the one. You playing. Stop playing. Get your, get your mind right, sir. Uh -huh. And pick your blessing. Yeah. That yeah. And he liked it. Oh, and, and, well, and she let him read the letter. That, uh, it was a letter she said she had wrote to her future husband. Remember that? Yep, she did. And he she read did. it and was acting like he was getting sentimental and going to cry during reading it. And So they that moment right there, I was like, you know, men don't really like to be told what to do. Like, you nope. have to let them think that it's their idea. I'm they're sorry. running it. <laughs> yeah, it's just you know, sorry, yes, girl power and everything, but yes, yes, mm -hmm. I'm just telling you how to use your power, girl. Um, that's all. That's all. So she kind of messed up trying to tell him to propose, mm -hmm. um, and then also she another mistake I feel like Jessica made was letting it be known that she didn't have eyes for anybody else other than him. Mm -hmm. because he knew Chelsea had options. Mm -hmm. For sure. For and sure. I think something about knowing that she had options made him want to choose her more. Men like a challenge. They do. Same thing that happened with uh, A.D. and Clay. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it was. So, um, he ultimately ends up telling Jessica... He can't do it. He's on. He's gonna go with his other option. And Jessica goes ham, baby. Did she not read him down like she's a Real Housewife? I know she okay. did. It, it was so proper. Let me tell you, it, it was, was just so it was cute. a sweetest read, huh? And when I when and, and that's why I remember that line that she said when she said he gonna need his EpiPen when she see when he see what she looked like. What you missed out on, honey? <laughs> She you're said, when you see me, me, you are going to have, uh, what she said, you're going to have an attack. You're going to lose your yep. mind. Like, you're, you're going right. to regret it, basically. And Jessica, mm -hmm. Jessica was fine, honey. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Like, Indeed. And very sweet. I'm not going to lie. Like I told you, I was rooting for her. I was yeah, rooting was for her when I watched that. It just didn't happen. I think that last little bit of a conversation, she gave him too much spice and scared him off. You know what I'm saying? With an ultimatum type deal. Even though she said, you know, make up your mind or whatever. But you can, you can kind of hear the tension in the voice. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm getting a little tired of waiting. Um, you, yeah. need to, you need to do what you need to do. <laughs> yeah. So she was so, like, um, she wasn't, he was like, like, okay, you did it. So um, unlike 50 Cent, who just won um, that battle, she wasn't patiently waiting for a track that's photo. on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not at all. Not at all. Um, she, she, yeah, he needed to make his decision. So, and so, um, uh, go yeah, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. He chooses Chelsea. Oh, before he chose something else that what, what, what I think was the thing that, uh, because they had another date before he actually proposed to Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what, happened before that date was that Chelsea was talking to the other girls within earshot of Jessica mm -hmm. and she 
tells the other girls that Jimmy said he loved her. No, no, no. That wasn't an insight. Hold on. Let me let me tell you because that was shade all the way. The light skinned chick. I forgot the the the, the, uh, I said light the, uh, the white girl with the blonde hair. That's oh, the message. Okay. She told yes. her for it, but then old girl when she walked off after whispering and telling them that she went over there and told like she was like, mm -mm, you shouldn't. He's not. He's not your guy. He's not your guy. That was the one that was spicy. Oh, she yeah. did do that. I forgot. Yeah. That. Hurt that girl feelings like she. Yeah, she, he's not your guy. Just, just, just uh, take my word for it. Like, wow. Mind you, though, that. like you got somebody talking to another chick, and you over there worried about what's going on with her. The Mrs. only reason why I thought she heard it is because of how they have to. You know how Netflix be doing them shady ass camera. Yes cutaways and stuff like they make it look like they sitting right there listening but she can't she couldn't hear her. Mm -mm. old girl told her that job was like, sucky though i was like that is so trifling like you're gonna sit there and do that girl like that <sighs> so uh then jessica meets up with jimmy again and she basically you know gave him the business I feel like had not that girl went over there and said that to her, she wouldn't have had that type of reaction. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, she probably wouldn't have gave it. It probably would have been something different. It wouldn't have been that. All right, so when everything dries, I'm going to put this around the perimeter. Perimeter? The perimeter. Okay. Oh, you <laughs> actually over here doing a whole DIY. Ah. Okay. okay. Oh, excuse me for that belch. Okay. So um now we uh we still on that story. So you saying like um after after hearing that part, she went up in there. Like I said, I don't think she would have gave the reaction she she gave if it wasn't for the blonde head chick telling her what she told her. Mm -hmm. Right, right, I think, right. I think it would have been a different type of reaction, but either way it goes, she went up in there, she got spicy with him, and that was the end of that one. Right, and that it, he good. felt like that had made his decision. And I ain't gonna lie, I felt like he knew he didn't want to pick the other girl. Like he really wanted to pick her, mm -hmm. but because it's of that, attitude, show, baby. yeah, it threw him off. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so that's that couple. They're chosen, and it ends up being Chelsea and Jimmy. Also, Chelsea basically told Trevor she didn't want to be with him, and. She was choosing Jimmy, and Trevor was all kind of hurt and everything. Oh my god, right. Trevor cried, was what wanted to cry and emotional. And wait, <laughs> um, when when she told him what, what was in it, um, if, if I would have proposed before because I had a speech, would you uh, would it have been me? Like, he was asking all kinds of questions, like, I had a whole speech prepared, right? He was supposed to. That one got me. I was just like, now we're going to sit here and grovel now. Right. Shut your ass up. Yeah. Shut your ass up. So, uh, okay, hold on. Let me do this and then I'll be ready to go to the next part. Y'all bear with us. Look, we over here trying to concentrate. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up with like all half done pictures and just have a whole show where I have to just redo or finish all my pictures. I know. <laughs> Oh, you got a lot to do. Me too. Right. I still gotta do. <laughs> See, I just be taking my time. I'm over here just on half of. Last time I jumped all over the picture, remember? So this time I said no live focus. I should have did my outline first, but I didn't. But it's fine because I just been jumping up. I, I mean, I think I'm doing all right though. You are. It looks very cute from here. So I got to make mine at least halfway look like what it's supposed to look like before I stop though. So. Um, <laughs> Look, let's go. Uh, since I'm done, I'm gonna start something. Else. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Let's go. Wait, let's take one brush. I'm trying to think of what other colors I want to add to this, you guys. I know my blue right here was a little off because I wanted that blue in that corner. Um, oh, y'all, I'm missing a whole foot. This baby got a foot. See, this is what I'm talking about. This baby has a whole foot, not a missed it. Did you see that foot right now? <laughs> Just, I ain't see it. I didn't see the foot. Oh, I got to black that, those lines. 
Oh, I like what you're doing at that bottom now. Uh, Just my five, did you put your picture up in the camera again? Because I didn't see it. I'm not even going to lie to you. So I'd like to see it again, ma'am. Yes, it is. Hold on. I see it back there. I just need to see it up close. Oh, wait. Hold on. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay, Gemini. So <laughs> is, it giving, is it giving a little fiery attitude in this? Because I see this red. Yes. And this red. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, let, me, let, me, let me explain some. Okay. <laughs> okay. So red. My camera is flipped. Y'all gonna have to forgive me. So red, black, purple, and gold are my four favorite colors in that order. Okay. Okay. Red, black, purple, and gold. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna hold them colors against you because blue should definitely be one of your, your favorites up in there, but it's fine. We'll we'll go what you said. Um I love, um purple I just, and I'm I a just, fan of those. I just want to say that you know blue might be somewhere up in it if it wasn't the color of the cow hose. Oh um, I think we have to take a brief intermission. <laughs> 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 oh man. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, if we're going to talk about colors like that, then, you know, emerald is my birthstone. And, and you know, the, the eagles, you know, they had the, the emerald color for a little while. To me. Okay. Okay. I ain't going to say nothing about it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> now, what was we, what were we about to talk about here now? I was going to go to the next couple, but I couldn't remember who I was about to talk about. Um, no, you can't forget about them. Okay, so we went over Clay in AD, and then you talked about Jessica. Well, I don't know the name. Uh, it, oh, we talked about Chelsea. the Matthew, Chelsea. Um, oh, the sweet couple. You said you weren't gonna talk about them because they ended up getting married. Yeah, we well, talked about the married. Okay, How about the one, the 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 interracial. Oh my god! Let's talk about it. Mm hmm. Um, what was her name again? She was the first one on the list. Let me go back. Oh, her name was uh, sorry, what the S doesn't know. Brittany, Brittany. Not... Brittany. Oh, yeah, no, because you said poor Brittany. I thought the first time, oh, you did say poor Brittany. That's right, yeah, yeah, poor Brittany. Yeah. You're right, never mind. So, Brittany, y'all, when I say poor Brittany, I mean poor Brittany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Britney's choice was uh, the the principal that we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. He uh, is a is a wide hip oh, and <clears throat> with um, what I thought were extension braids mm -hmm. or something. But it ended um, up being his real hair. They were just little, little plaits. It was his real hair. Let me show y'all a picture. Just yeah. Okay, then this is Amy. Mm -hmm. and... I'm not gonna lie. He had me. He. I, I. Okay. Although I said he he was like a tambourine player. You know what I'm saying? I thought, okay, after some time, I was like, okay, it, it just could be that he's feminine. You know what I'm That's saying? That's what I, I said, too. And this is and Kenneth. I started, I started liking him. Yeah. This is the like, most like masculine him. energy Kenneth has given me all season. In that picture. Oh, wow. He grew on me. I'm not, he definitely grew on me. I grew to like him. And then we came in with that white, that white fit on, but we, we yeah, we'll get to all of that. Now, you want to talk about when they first started talking or... Okay, so hold on, hold on. Not really, because I don't remember it. Only thing I really remember about them is everything that happened outside of the pod. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know what? We were talking about when they went on to their little trip and they connected. So my apologies. Go ahead and go back to that. Go yeah, to that that's part. that's really the only part I really remember about them. So you don't remember them? Oh, okay, okay, okay. In the pod, go ahead. I remember them in the pods, but not really, because it seems so. There was no fire. There was no electricity. There was no just like this. 
<laughs> no, because they were both saying that they were waiting until marriage. He's a you know church and principal, a middle school principal. I feel like there was only so much that he really was going to do, or how you know only so much that he would really say on that show, being that you know he knows his his status, and it's going to be a bunch of people watching that, right? Mm -hmm. So he was respectable. So he was he was respectable. He was very nice. They was making all these plans to be together. He proposes mm -hmm. to her. They're like, oh, we're going to make it work and we're going to be great. You know, they see each other. She comes out and she's like, hey, baby. She was so excited to see him just mm -hmm. willing to accept whoever came from behind that door. She was. She was down for it, baby. She was happy mm -hmm. to meet her man. He was happy yep. to meet her. I was like, okay, well, you know, even though the whole time I've been thinking that this is not going to work, maybe they can make it work. Right? Maybe. Right. So, and neither one of them had any competition. Like, nobody else was, was talking to either one of them either. So, they pretty much chose each other early on and stayed with each other. Uh -huh. All right. So, then we get to the trip. And pretty much all the couples were, because that's the last couple, right? Uh, them two? Uh, yeah, aside from the ones that got married. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy, Clay, Kenneth, Johnny. That's it. Nobody else made it out of the pies. All right. So they get here to this island. And everybody's like affectionate, happy to be together, whatever, whatever. And then those two, uh, damn, I forgot her name that fast. Brittany and Kenneth <laughs> were just there. They were just like, you know, they were doing a lot of talking. Like, yeah. What other people um, about their relationships? Yeah. Yeah. Because that was one of the first things I saw him doing was. Um, when AD came out there talking to AD basically about how he thinks he's going to be okay with a white girl. Yep. Yep. Whether or not she she would be able to raise children. Raise black yeah. children. And I understand all of that, but it was a really... <laughs> I'm not mad at y'all for having a black moment on this show, but it's a little late now to even be worried about that, bro. Right. That's all I was thinking. was like, man, you already chose the bitch. It's a little, it's a wrap up, but I think that he had already had in his mind that she was not of his race because he asked, you know, what did she like to date when they was in the pod? You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Or, she, or, what, or what he thought, like, have you ever dated outside of your race type bill? And how do people around you feel about it? And uh -huh. you know, what do you think about interracial dating and how you know it's perceived and can you handle that kind of energy that people get? Yeah, he was asking her all yep. those type of questions. And she answered them well, honey. Mm -hmm. And uh she did. Doesn't really look like fire, but whatever. Um so basically, all right. One of the things that stood out to me is two things that stood out to me. Oh, Jeremy and Laura. We forgot about them. Good. Jeremy, Laura, and Sarah Ann, honey. Okay, Sarah Ann was Jeremy's other option, and this is Jeremy. I, Jera, me. Jera. <laughs> Laura's the blonde head chick that was uh being salty. <clears throat> that was yes. I'm sorry, not being salty, was being messy and passed that message along, saying that that's not your man. Yeah, that's not your baby. Meanwhile, she waiting to get chose. Mm hmm. Because her man is in between somebody else and her. Right. So, uh, all right. Jeremy down to the wire with Sarah Ann and Laura. He didn't really know which one he wanted. Only thing that I that stood out to me about him and Laura's connection was when they discussed what they wanted to be doing on Christmas morning. Okay. And it was so vivid of an image that I was like, she got it. It was, sweet. it was sweet. I think she did that intentionally. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't think that that was real for her. Let me explain something to you about Laura. Because of who she was going against. Uh huh. Go ahead. Laura is a is a businesswoman. 
Oh, she did say she chopped up numbers and percentages with him. She does. During, okay, and got she you. did say that during the reunion. That's because that's how her mind works. So mm -hmm. she she basically knew how to sell him on what based mm -hmm. on what he told her he wanted. What it was going to be, how it was going to, yeah. Same thing to her. They was okay. gasping the hell out of each other the whole time and didn't even know it. Sure was. All right, so um, Sarah Ann and him had a really, to me, it was a really genuine, real connection. Yes. Um, he, you could tell that the chemistry was just, like, giving, honey. Like, you know, you could tell that they, if they were actually in person, they would have probably already been laid up somewhere, like uh -huh. you know, early on. You could just tell it was just you know that kind of energy. It was cute. It was, so, cute. Uh, it was cute, and she challenged him too, which I really mm -hmm. liked because Laura didn't really seem to understand that he needed a challenge. Laura went with the flow, and I feel like her challenging came after she got him when it should have came. Got him, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. Because so, then she uh, to him a little bit more than what she needed, what she needed to know about him. Exactly. See, Sarah Ann could see his lower energy. Mm -hmm. She could see it. And she knew how to talk to him like she could see it. Right. Laura was trying to, you know, paint this picture perfect. Just get in. Yeah, get yeah. chosen. Exactly. All right, so he chooses Laura. They meet, they see each other. To me, they didn't really have chemistry when they met mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. Like not really at all. Um, but nope. anyway, let's go back to the I to the honeymoon or the vacation or whatever. So they're okay. on vacation at this point. Um, with all the people they've chosen. And one of the first things I remember was Laura was Jeremy telling uh A D. Well, this wasn't the first thing that happened. One of the first things that happened was AD walks out and everybody loses their mind. Yeah. Everybody was just like, damn, she fine as hell. Like, you know, mm -hmm. all the men were looking, all the women were looking, everybody was all in, baby. Yeah, baby. she was stunning. They were they were definitely a cute, you know, like a uh, cute little couple. Yeah, her and her men were both uh, fine. Okay, so they looked really cute together. And they look good when they hit that beach, baby. So, okay. AD is standing here minding her business. Jimmy looks over and says something about what did he say to Chelsea? That her body was stacked. Oh, yeah. He was like, no, AD, like, he's stacked, man. She's really stacked. Like, he was telling mm -hmm. his fiance yes. that somebody else's fiance was stacked. Okay, right. and he never even talked to AD in the pod. Like that was the first time that her that played on all uh, old girls' insecurities right there. Absolutely. So Chelsea is so awkward that she didn't even know how to really react to it. So she says, AD, how'd you get your butt like that? <sighs> In front of everybody. In front of everybody. Yeah. The and baby. Jimmy is so outdone. He's just like, oh my God. Like I can't just embarrassed. You just asked her that and just embarrassed me like that or whatever. So yeah. but then uh AD said, what did she say? God and Pilates or something like that, or yep. a lot of uh, and God and squat or something. Mm hmm and so then it becomes like a, you know, like, oh, okay, well, she took it well, so it kind of lightened the mood up. Jimmy then walks over to her and proceeds to grab her hand and twirl her around. And he take did not closer. twirl her, did he? I, I was trying to remember if he twirled her or not. Now. Yeah, I thought, I think he tried to. He, I just remember him grabbing her hand and holding her arm up in the air, like, on oh, some twirl for me, baby, type shit. <laughs> okay. And, uh, <laughs> He's looking at her like, you know, he got a close up look at her and then he but he was really trying to like make it not kind of lighten up what just happened. Yeah, he was just kind of trying to lighten the mood 
whatever. Because I didn't get that he was flirting. I thought that he was at first because I was like, oh, my God, no, he did not. But then when I heard him talking to her and what the conversation was about, I was like, OK, it's not it's not what what I thought it was going to be. Right. All Chelsea was supposed to do when he said that was say. Laugh it off. Yeah, she sure is. Ha, ha, ha. Something. Yeah. But I bet she can't do it like this or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Just, you know, it should have been mm. kept between you and your man is the point that I'm trying to make. Right. So anyway, because he went over and started talking to AD and then proceeded to continue to talk to her. If I'm not mistaken, didn't they walk over to the bar and have a drink together too? They had walked, they was actually already uh there. And then um she was standing right beside them when it happened. Like he just left her hanging right there. Like left his, you know, say, oh girl, while he was talking to AD. And then she was just like, okay, like I'm gonna wander off over here. And then he went to go, you know, check on them when they was talking together. But she was like, you know, a little off standoffish at that point, like, mm. Yeah, so wifey's feelings get hurt. But let's not, that's, that wasn't AD's only uh, crazy moment, though. Remember the other one? I forgot what the hell that lady called. No, that's the one I'm about to tell you about now. So, yes. <laughs> so now Clay and AD are over talking to uh, Jeremy and some other people. I don't know who the other people were. Laura was over there talking to Amy and somebody else. So Clay, AD, Jeremy, and another person were all sitting and talking and Jeremy proceeds to tell Clay about something called bean dip. Mm, 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 mm. Clay's like, what do you mean? What's bean dip? And AD knows what bean dip is. And mm -hmm. she, she was just like, what is, she? I don't remember how she was reacting at first, but I think she was just like, oh my God, like awkward giggle type of a he, response. He said, he said my, my girl told me to do that to you, basically, to bean dip you. When I saw you, yeah, and she was like, right. she, told to do, she told you to bean dip me. It was a, a girl's pod uh, joke thing. Right. So then he proceeds to explain what bean dip is. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all ready for the bean description for bean dip? What is bean dip? Okay. Bean dip is when you basically Bloop. slap a titty. Smack the shit out of it. So he told his girl told he's saying his future wife, the one the lady he wants to marry, right, has had told him that when he come in to bean dip AD, smack the shit out of her titty, basically. And so AD was like, What? And so yeah, it, it got brought up. He was like, Baby, like, how do you embarrass me? And she's like, What? What? He was like the bean dip thing, but she was like, Oh my god, I told you that in person. Like, you weren't supposed to say that out loud. And then he had lied and said that she told him to do it, and she never told him to bean dip her. You know what I'm saying? It was just a little inside joke that she was sharing with her so called future husband. And Clay was like, Yeah, don't ever do that to my wife, or you know, yeah, to my like, do that. Mm -hmm. we're not doing Clay whatever that is, we're not doing that. <laughs> Ain't no bean nothing. Bean pies, bean dip, bean chips, none of that. <laughs> so uh, uh, that was an awkward moment. AD was a little embarrassed, and it just was awkward. So AD basically went over there and got uh, and told the old girl, like, I don't appreciate you even telling your man about that. Like, what the heck? Right. Um, right. They had a little conversation about it. Of course, Laura was like, it was just a joke. It was just a joke, so that means everybody's supposed to be laughing. Mm -mm. Not about that. You ain't gonna tell no dude to come in and bean dip me. So uh, okay, all right. What else happened awkward on the trip? Um, I'm trying to think why they were on that trip. It's so uh, aside from old girls' insecurities. Matter of fact, basically them the whole booty thing that made uh I forgot what her name is. I cannot remember her name to save my life. Yep. That dude. Uh, Chelsea. Okay, so yeah, aside from Chelsea being insecure, right? Um, let me take my little drink. Um, that you know they had their little their argument. She was like, you know, you don't understand until you. This is how I feel. Oh, that's when she started that. Mm -hmm. You know what I call that emotional manipulation. And that's exactly what I feel like it is because she would get emotional with him, 
And then when he would walk away, she would go right behind him and grab him and don't leave. Don't go. I thought you loved me. I thought you, right, right. It definitely was manipulation. Manipulation because he was feeling sad, like just seeing her cry, period. All right, right. Let me show you something real quick. A really easy way to make hearts. Wait a minute. Okay. So you make a dot, right? A little circle. And then you make another little circle next to it. I can't bring it in closer. Yeah, up a little bit because right. it was at the bottom. Okay. Make two little circles, right? Mm -hmm. You see it, and then you close them in with a V. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Do your thing. Let's go now. A little artist tip. Now, what were we talking about? I'm gonna forget that lady name a thousand and one times. Chelsea I'm not and all emotional abuse. Yeah. So then they, you know, they had other moments. Was it, I'm trying to think on the same one because they only stayed on that little trip, the little island trip for like what, a weekend or so, something like yeah, that? Yeah, only a couple of days that they stay there. And then when they go back, they have to go back to their real lives, but they they move into uh, an apartment community, basically, yeah. where all well, the before, couples Before live. that, though, let's not forget, Chelsea was, uh, after when her insecurity started, you know, he apologized for that or whatever. And then she um she was also insecure about showing her uh her her body to him. Like so she was saying like she didn't know how he was gonna react with her being in a bathing suit, which she really didn't look bad too bad in that bathing he suit. He didn't, but that's her she just fishes for compliments though. That's that's her personality. That's crazy. She needs mm. to be told at all times that she's pretty. Mm. And then also what I thought was funny is her talking about she worried about if he's okay with her body while she's basically insulting his. Ooh, talk about it. Because she was like, I usually go for beefcakes and, you know. Mm -hmm. He's so hot to me that it doesn't matter that he's not a beefcake. Right. right. Hey, girl. That's crazy. My mess. And she okay. didn't like that to be worried about no damn beef. Like, what is you talking about? But anyway, um, so Chelsea's insecurities continue to play out the whole weekend. Amy and Johnny are just in love. They don't care about anything on earth. They're just in nope. Love. And then even the um the teacher and the mixed relationship they they even did really good on the trip though they didn't have they any did. um, they were doing their thing too mm -hmm. on the trip they weren't really worried about too much of anything that was going on with everybody nope. else they were just kind of doing their thing. um Clay and AD were doing their thing mm -hmm. honestly people just wanted to be all up in AD's mix and, and Clay was. was Clay was ecstatic at the fact that all these men wanted to sleep with his woman. Like, I'm sure that just really... Yeah, they, they were attracted to her. Yeah, because she was a good-looking woman, for sure. For yeah, sure. I turned my feet upside down so I could do my black lining on this side, you guys. If you're wondering. But, yep. So, um, I guess we can, what, fast forward past that that trip? Because I'm trying to think of it. Was there anything other yeah, than that? Yeah, that was really... The trip was really kind of uneventful. So, they get back home... And people get their phones. People get yeah. access to the world. Ooh. Um, this is talk about phones. <laughs> the first person I must talk about when come when it came to getting their phone, who really ticked me off the most, like what you said, poor Brittany. Poor yeah. Brittany. Because exactly. child, uh, what was that man's name? I can't even remember Kenneth? his name. Ken, uh, Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth was yeah. stuck in his phone. And she was just trying to have all kinds of conversations like, hey, honey, let's unpack. I'll put my stuff here. He's like, eh, all right, uh, okay. But he yeah, was, he's like, all right, basically. Buddy in his phone, like he didn't give a damn about her when he came back. Like, and you're not going to It seemed like, like he was just so important. Like he's some type of neighborhood drug dealer. Like, I got you know. For real. Like it was just so much that he missed. Like, I mean, I understand he's a principal, but child. Put that phone down sometimes. Like like they said, we I was screaming at the, the thing telling them to put his phone down. I was. It was upsetting me. Because I'm just I like, you like, like, sitting here pouring out her heart, just talking, and you ain't heard nothing she said. I feel like whatever he was looking at on that phone, he had nothing to do with his job. 
I feel like it definitely possibly was another man. But go ahead. Uh, basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they moved into their apartment. She's like wanting to, you know, get closer to her man. Mm -hmm. And he was basically going on with his life, honey. He went out. He was going out. He wasn't around. He was, do, you know, doing his thing, honey. Um, she had a complaint about that, too, about him coming. And he said, well, I would hope that you wouldn't be upset, you know what I'm saying, with me because of that one moment that I went outside. Like, he had said that comment before, too, though, because uh, it was something else that went on. Like, I think he had a temperament or it was something he didn't, you know, wasn't feeling talking. He was like, I hope you wouldn't, you know, charge that against me because of this one moment type deal like I wouldn't do that to you you know what I mean because everybody's not going to be like oh good morning every morning and be on their best you know best mode and, or whatnot mm -hmm. yeah. right mm -hmm. so uh, she expressed herself about that they kind of, they got past that they was like okay we'll figure it out so now everybody it's time for everybody to meet uh, each other's families and you know do they see each other's apartments or houses yeah. or wherever they live? Yeah, exactly. exactly. So now that part is beginning, and people are getting a glimpse of what they partners realize is like. I don't remember anything really significant happening at that time. The only thing I really remember was AD basically being like, she can live, she can move right in, and they were talking about. Uh, how they was gonna raise a kid there. This man mm -hmm. talking about mm -hmm. and everything. Like I enjoyed when they met each other's parents. I'm not gonna lie. I loved AD's parent. Uh, uh sorry, I loved AD's mother. Um, and I loved uh old dude's mom. Like I really did. And his sister, well, his sister, I'm not gonna lie, his sister was looking like I need to see what's going on. Let me get the feel on that first one. But then she started warming up. Because the sister was like, I don't know, she kind of gave me like the little evil eye in the beginning. Like, hmm. Let's talk about the fact that um, we didn't talk about Clay's childhood trauma from his father. Yeah. The fact that his father cheated on his mom, what, seven years into their marriage? And they broke up because yeah. of that? Yeah. I that was a to take him basically for him to have affairs on his mom. Hmm. What? Dad used to take him when he was going to cheat on his mom. Yep. Would take him with him. Yep, yep, yep. So he was definitely ruined. He was ruined. And the mom was still with him this whole time. And he's like, my mom knew, but she don't know the extent of it. Right. And I just was like, oh, that just really upset me. Like, and it's got you know can you imagine the impact that that would have on him though like as a kid knowing that your father is taking you somewhere to cheat on your mom like y'all about to go meet your father's girlfriend right while mom is at home cooking and cleaning and you know what i'm saying taking care of house stuff holding it down right it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy so, uh all right, so they meet each other's families. For them, for Clay and AD, that, that went well. That actually, that part went well for everybody. Everybody that met. Yeah, because yeah, the mom had positive stuff to say. Both of their mothers had positive stuff to say. Uh -huh. it that was went really well good. for everybody. Which gave me really good hopes with them. I'm yeah. not going to lie, it did. I was very positive for their uh, situationship. Yeah. And then, um, who was the other ones? Um, ooh. Ooh. I don't. Okay, Chelsea met with Jimmy's two best friends who were women. Girl best friends. And, she, and that, that also was another her, insecurity that got played on. Her awkward ass giggling during that entire lunch. Yeah. Oh, girl, my skin was crawling. <laughs> And I'm okay with him talking to his, you know, his, his friends or having girls as friends because you know I'm I'm friends with my ex of friends. Because that's exactly what she said then, but things changed up when she started when her insecurities came out. Uh-huh. When she's so, I'm not really friends with him anymore. Like, yeah. 
trying to have him all to yourself. Like, what are you talking about, man? That man had a whole life before you. I understand y'all finna get married, but that don't mean he can't have no life and no friends. Right. Ain't no way you're going to just tell that man to shut down his friendship like that. But I, I, I kind of understood some of what she was saying, but it was what came out. Okay, so look, we're just going to jump to it, y'all. What came out in part of this was that one of his, his friends that she was introduced to, you know, the future wife here, um, was a friend that he had had sexual relations with. So mm -hmm. my question would be, how would you guys feel if you're about to get married to someone and you see that their best friend, one of their best friends is a woman that they used to be involved with? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's tough, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That's real tough. Like any other woman, I could say, you know, it don't matter what she do. What matters is how you respond to it. But um, if you already, you know, you know what I mean? Mm, Tony. Yeah, I'm different. <laughs> I mean, you know what it comes down to? It all comes down to the level of trust you have with that man. Yes. And, and what his character is. Because. I've been in a situation like that before and only because of the trust I have for the person, I was really? able to just be like, all right, I ain't tripping. That's your homegirl. That's your homegirl. This don't ever give me a reason to question it. That part. Because it ain't no coming back from it. Uh -huh. um, but I'm just not really, I, don't, I think I like challenges, y'all. I think I probably would have just been like, Oh my! I can't give away my secrets, but I'm gonna tell y'all. Okay, so you said if you don't give a reason, right? If he doesn't give a reason, then there shouldn't be an issue. And do you feel yeah. like what he did was a reason for it to be an issue? Him going out, hanging out, and um, mm -hmm, not inviting her to the gathering. He said he did, but he didn't. The not inviting her, I did not like. But at that point in their relationship, when she was just so freaking whiny and insecure, I understood why he didn't invite her. And he said she was clingy. Yes. But so also, like, she said that that happened after he saw the other girl that he was interested in picture. Because remember, they got their phones back and they went and looked. Oh, we didn't even talk about all of that yet. Yeah. Let's go back to getting the phones back and then we'll come back to this. Okay. Because we, we were on that. When they got their phones back also, um, Jara, me, had a message from uh, Sarah Ann, right? What her name her, is? Yes. The one he did not choose. Uh-huh. He had an IG message from her where she basically it was like, if it don't work out, hit me up. She mm -hmm. didn't that, but she left the door open for it. She did. Salute, bro. Buddy said, peace, peace. lady. Pretty hey. eyes. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> so he um, shows Laura the message. Uh-huh. You know, so he shows Laura the message, and uh, Laura was was she didn't like it, but I think she she trusted him, and was like on some team us. So she basically was like, "Yeah, I knew she probably would would try something like that." But what she was pissed about, what Laura was pissed about, was the fact that he hearted the message. Yep, mm. well, he said he just double tapped. That it wasn't intentional. It wasn't like that. I just double tapped it. Like, well, you okay. know what a double double tap is on IG. Everybody know what a double tap is on IG by now. That's all. Everybody's like, mm -hmm. oh, you could have just did a thumb. And <laughs> yeah, and then he wanted to argue the fact that not only did he double tap, but he said he was eager to jump up the stairs when he got there. You know, to let her know, like, hey, look, babe, look at what happened. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um. Let me see. So Laura didn't like the fact that he hearted the message. Mm -mm. 
uh, we talked about the principal and his phone. He mm -hmm. that was always really with the phone. I think that was really it. All right, so now the principal with his phone and the principal hanging out late at night. Yeah, he was hanging out late at night. Oh, Clay, um, I think he had rental properties. So one thing that he was doing that AD did not like, AD's in real estate, Clay has rental properties. Yeah. So what he was doing was, uh, like if he had a, a, I think he does Airbnb properties or something. Mm -hmm. and, and one of them might be like a cabin or something like on the lake or something like that. So it's kind of far out. So basically when he knew he had a tenant coming and he had to get the place ready, he would stay, I guess, at his real apartment or something. Mm -hmm. yep, so yep, then yep. he would have to get up and come and come out there early. But that would be after he hadn't been at home because he also has to work. Or right. something like that. Like so he basically would be gone all day. All he, be, he said he was on the water because he's you know he does the rental, the boat rentals as well. Exactly. So um, what's her name? A D wasn't really feeling that. She's like, You 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 need to make time, you know, or you need mm -hmm. to sacrifice basically. So like I don't care about all of that, you need to come home. Mm hmm And and his mother agreed, and so did her mama. Right. Um, so they had lunch with his mom and they explained this and her and Clay actually almost had words because he he was like Tell what me you now. really want from a nigga. That's how he was kind of like <laughs> Yes. Yes. Um, that a great and did you did you see the, the family's remark? They were like, oh like, right. Right, like, like, oh. like wait, right here, right now. <laughs> we're doing this. <laughs> right. That was you know, we ignore signs of little things when it's new and it's fresh and it's popping and everything. But, girl, if he was going to talk crazy to you in front of his mama and his sister, like, about something that really was not even really a for real issue. No. That could have, that's an easy compromise could have been that maybe you come spend a night with him where he is. Right. When he has to do that, it's an easy I mean, if he wants you there, and if he don't want you there, then that should tell you enough right now. Come on. Come on now. If he don't want you there, he don't want you there. And it is, it is what it is at that point. I feel like a, a yellow background for some reason. I don't know why. It's not going to, or gold background. I don't know what's up with this gold, but I'm, I just, I'm loving gold. I feel like gold because I'm not painting my other person until the next time. I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep it real with you. I think it's just cute with the one right now. It took me forever, but he's so cute. Um, and I'm going to add a little foot to him over on this side, a little piece that I missed. Um, what, what else? Okay. So hold on. Who do we get with clay? talking to him at the table like that or talking to her at the table like that in front of the parents. Then she had like, you know, almost a little bit of a breakdown with her mom, you know, talking to her about that time and away. But then he said that he could adjust and, you know, make changes because, you know, he they, yeah. He yeah, because like his mom said you make time for what's important to you. Mm -hmm. She did say that in his mm -hmm. defense. I mean, in, in uh, the wife's defense. In her defense, yes. So um, let's talk about AD's mom basically kind of sending up the bat signal for her daughter, like girl. AD's mom was doing what? She was kind of sending her the bat signal, like you already feeling like this already. Mm, mm, okay, okay, that bat signal. She kind of gave her the little eyeballs, like not this fast. Yeah, she. I think she even said something like, "I mean, you know, he might be fine or whatever, but just be yeah, careful. Yeah. Just make sure this is what you really want to deal with." Right. But she didn't have nothing to say about him, really, because I can tell the mom. I mean, I don't want to call her a pick me, but she's old school. I can tell, mm -hmm. and she seems like one of those kind of moms that's like, if he got a job. If he making you smile, then I'm going to mind my business. 
Yeah. And you should too, even though you the one that's married to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, let that man cheat in people. Yeah, like, she was like, well, you said you would do this for him. Have you told him that yet? And she was like, no, start there. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. Start there. I'm like, okay, start there. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he walked into lunch, the way she just got herself together real quick, it's like, you look good, baby. Oh, hmm. I hope you heard me. You heard, Did you hear that when, uh, when you came back? I'm like, ooh. All right, Mama Dukes. Did you hear that when you came back? You hear that because I said that loud enough. <laughs> I didn't hear her say that. That jump was funny as hell. I heard her. <laughs> I said, no, she didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. Did you hear that? Ooh -wee. Um, Who asked her parent situation was crazy? Oh, what was the uh going back to God? Why can't I remember this girl's name for some reason? Which one? That one again. The, uh, the the one that was insecure. Chelsea. Chelsea. Okay, so going back to Chelsea, you know, Chelsea had that big blow up when um when Odu basically stayed out late. And we got to get to that other blonde head girl too in that situation. But ooh. So um when he stayed out late and then he, they basically it was crazy how she found out. It wasn't she didn't say she found out by way of like stalking him or trying to call nah, him. No, she said that somebody else from the show yeah. saw him out. So he didn't even and that's crazy because he said that I told you and invited you, right? Um I told you and invited you to the outing, to the party and you said no, like you you wouldn't want to go to something like that. And so for her to find out from you know, one of the pod sisters that he was out with the girls. So he didn't say right, but he said he was with with uh couples, I think he said, and his homeboy. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't make it seem he was like, I was not just like out with her. And old girl was like guessing, like well, where you went, yeah, like where you with her, where you went. And I figured that was gonna end up being a problem. Cause clearly she's worried about this girl. Like she was like, and you didn't start acting like this until you saw her picture. Like, you oh yeah, it. and that's when she went off on the tangent. And you know, it, it wasn't for the show to know that he had slept with his homegirl before either. He told her that right. off camera. And I respect it when he said during the reunion. He said the only reason I told us because this was the woman that I was going to marry. I was like, come on now, you're right. He should have came clean and told you that, but he Absolutely. said he told you that in confidence, right? In confidentiality, to where you weren't supposed to put that out in the open because, you know, not for him, but because of her. Because they of her. Say. And then also, when a man tell you something to gain your trust or to prove his character or his honesty or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And you accept his truth mm -hmm. from him. It is not okay, or a woman, it doesn't matter, with a person that you're trying to be in relations with, tells yeah, you an yeah. honesty about themselves. That's very nice, girl, it's cute. Thank and you, you use it as a weapon mm -hmm. against them in a future argument. That shit is whack, don't do it. Yeah, that was corny. And then she's like, you after her. Yeah. <laughs> How do you expect honesty from people if all you're going to do is use it against them in the future? Now, I okay, so being being that she was already insecure, and I'm not going to lie, and he should have known she was insecure, uh, to keep it 100, going out at that time, not telling her where you was going, ended up being with her. You're right. Yeah, that, that definitely did not help her. That, That's that another thing we can help. talk about. We can, we can look, in the words of Ben, we can crib walk right there. Let's let's quit right, right there. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, like she she already had enough. She already you know she felt some type of. You just seen this girl's picture. Um, he said he. I think he even said he didn't know what she looked like. Yeah. But I okay. So when she started guessing and saying, "Were you with her?" I do. Nobody told her that he was with. You know, what I'm saying that girl. So that was yeah. kind of a, a big mess up. And then for her to out what she outed, I think she would have been okay. Cause I'm not going to lie. I, I really truly believe that she might not have been his type, but I think that he was really head over heels that he was really serious about her. Chelsea. I think he really would have married her. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean the other girl that he didn't. Yeah. I, I think that he really would have met. No, no, no. The one that he picked. 
I honestly yeah, believe that he would have married her had it not been for her losing her junk like that. Yeah. I forgot that they didn't get married because she was acting like they was married for 40 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you hurt me. And what I didn't like also, though, uh, was when, when they did have those altercations that she wouldn't let him talk. Mm -hmm. She would cut him off and be she like, I'm sorry, I just have to interrupt. Hmm. Like, no, yeah. your point is irrelevant. I need to make my point. Right. Because you're not hearing me. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a YouTube uh, fight. Huh? Sounds like a YouTube fight. <laughs> That's what it sounded like when I watched it. Um, so, and that was what we were saying, too, is that it's not fair to know and, and know what your partner's insecurities are mm -hmm. and then play on them. Like, it's right. not a, Yeah. No, you it's not just, okay. just as easily choose to not be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, since we're talking about what we're choosing to do, how about old boy who decided that he chose to drop his location and messed up? Ooh, baby, baby. Uh-huh. And chose to do this before old girl and him was supposed to be linking up to meet his parents. Mm. And he chose to lie about it. Where and then go? chose to lie about it. Mm. Okay, so how did he mess up giving up his location? You want to well, tell it or you want me to tell it? Go I feel ahead. like you're going to tell it better. Look, I'm going to add my two cents. Go ahead. Look, um, there rub me. Okay. <laughs> And Laura, I love how she says that. <laughs> it's funny. They were basically, you know, they playing their life together. Right? They meeting family. They doing the thing. You know, she's just explaining to her family in the most cynical ways why she loves him. And they're like that typical, you know, um, really sarcastically loving couple to where they basically rib each other to show love or something. I don't know. Well, there was one problem that she didn't like with him and that would be those shirts. She said she can't stand those shirts. Well, her oh, sister yeah. just happened to love those shirts. He had a thing. Jeremy loves Hawaiian shirts. Yes. Oh. Random, but it, it was a thing for her. She did not like it at all. Nope. Like to the point where when he said it in the pod, mm -hmm. she second guessed dealing with him. Mm -hmm. That's how That's serious she is about not liking the damn Hawaiian shirt. She was definitely serious about them shirts. That's crazy. Okay. And so yeah, you you going back to what he did. All right. So what he did was he had been with Laura. And her family all day. And at some point in time, he apparently had shared his location. Mm -hmm. Well, after they got back from hanging out with her family, he goes to have some drinks, hang out with some friends. And he just so happens to run into Sarah Ann at this mm. bar. The other choice. Mm. Yeah, randomly happens to run into her. Isn't it interesting how all these right? Because you gotta think, oh girl, um, what's her name? Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Whoever told her that her man was at the bar was not somebody that was still on the show. This was somebody who was like a former cast member, I thought. Man, how would they know? What'd you say? How would they know? And why right. the heck are they out there with okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's weird that they, these people keep running into each other like this. Like, what the mm -hmm. so, I, I'm going to blame that on the producers. Nick and uh, <laughs> Vanessa, what the hell? They said so, that up. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel, too. Like, why the hell is they running into these things? Like, guy, but then, I mean, I guess people could always be on social media saying, like, I'm at the is, store, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Exactly. So anyway, he just so happens to run into Sarah Ann at this bar. Mm -hmm. Apparently, their conversation was so riveting that they, according to him and her, stayed behind at the bar talking until 5 a.m. 
Yeah, because she had questions and she needed answers. She was a little bit upset. Don't forget that part. She needed closure. Yes, needed mm. closure. And so and I'm saying closure, but she absolutely did not say the word closure because the last thing she wanted to do was close them. She wanted yeah. to open the legs. Mm. Okay? Big facts. <laughs> So yeah, so five, five five in the morning. nobody believed them when they said that they had been talking in the parking lot until five a.m. Like literally, nobody believed. Them. Well, nobody believed them because let's not forget uh, what's her name, Laura. Uh, Laura uh, said that she knew. She said, "I knew you guys weren't in the park because she went and didn't she, see me in the park." So then he said, "We was parked over on the side." Mm -hmm. So check this out. Five o'clock or whatever time in the morning, sometime in the middle of the night, uh, what's her name? Laura realizes that he had left his location on. Yep. And she looks up his location at the time when she looked it up. He was at Sarah Ann's apartment. Right in yeah. her apartments. Because she lived right on over there in real life. So you notice how they tried to make the lie then that they was in her parking lot talking? Uh-huh. They tried they to make said, it. Yeah, because she needed a ride home. Like, so she didn't have a way home before you? Mm. Mm. How's she get the... Hey, come on. Come on. So, all right. So they claim they had been talking till five in the morning. He goes home. Laura basically is like, I'm done. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so many words. Um, she gets on up out of there, and that was basically the end of their relationship. But because <laughs> she did. was like, "How could I meet your parents?" You know what I'm saying? Right after you pull some shit like this, like, how can I go in front of your parents and act like everything is cool? Right when it's not, you know what I'm saying? Look what you just did. Right, and lied about the job. Ooh. So Sarah, uh, so uh, Laura basically was like, "I'm done." Got up out of that, and then uh, let me see. Let's move to the next couple, and then we'll talk about the next time they see each other. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll go back that? to the, the biracial couple because their their junk got intense too. You know, aside from that phone junk when they got there, got back. It, yeah. Yeah. So when we come back to them, what's going on with them at this point? Go ahead, tell that part. I need to tell um. That. I think she was still trying to talk to him to get closer to him. I think where they, no, they weren't on the sofa at that time because that was one of the moments they were on the sofa. They were back in that kitchen again. And she was trying to talk to him. He had his phone in his hand and she was just, you know, like, you know, hello. Like, are you, are you here with me type deal? Like, what's really going on? And so she, um, I forgot what it was that made him tick and say, well, it ain't going to work. Because he literally just, somewhere in that conversation, he was like, it's just not going to work. I'm gonna tell you what it was. She was basically saying to him, "I want to. I want. Even though we're waiting, I still mm -hmm. want to want to you. Like I want to be a. Oh, because there was no spice. There was no passion. She was like, I. She was like, I've done this before, and the the waiting drives me crazy, and it just makes me like want the person even more, or something like that. And she was like, mm -hmm. I'm waiting to feel that way about you. That's because she fell oh. in love with a gag. But okay. Yeah. She was like, and it's just not coming. It's just not happening or whatever. So I don't want basically well, let's, be, my time. let's be real. If a dude, you you're somebody you're supposed to be wanting to marry, you're so sweet and compassionate. And, and it, she said, I turned around and my slippers was right there. You hear me? I turned <laughs> around and my slippers were right there. I didn't hear her say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was saying he was so amazing and considerate, and I'm thinking to myself, mm, how do you not, as a dude, first off, um, you getting with somebody that you say that you love, you want to be with for the rest of your life, she's very beautiful, you know what I'm saying, beyond what you expected, and you have no kind of tension. He uh went from you know being affectionate and, and being up on her to not touching her at all, no kisses. I remember her saying that. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. And he was like, well, I've been told that I, I'm too clingy, that mm -hmm. I'm too this. Yeah, maybe with your homeboys. Uh, oh, oh. Because I because I didn't get that he was too clingy with her at all. At no point in time. I ain't seen no him trying to feel or nothing. 
Did you see how uncomfortable it looked when she tried to put her head on his shoulder while they were on the boat? Yeah. It Very hurt me. Awkward. I was Very like, awkward. oh my gosh, she, she had to tell him how to put his arm around her. Like, what do you mean? He's sitting up there with his naturally curly hair blowing in the wind. Mm. Oh, child. And when he took that <laughs> oh, that was another thing, too. Another thing was that oh that was that was actually the conversation. It was after he had stayed out all night. He had to get his hair, his hair done. Yes, when he got his hair done, and then he stayed out. But who like what woman had hands is in your head at that time of night? And then he came home and tried to get in her face. Yeah, and she was like, "I was asleep. I have to work." Yeah, he tried to wake her up. Said the lights was on all over the place. And he mm -hmm. was like, well, I was trying to wake you up so I could touch on you then, but like, huh? Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. I think it was just so funny. Me. I was like, what in the awkward hell is going on here? Very you awkward. Turn all the lights on. That's how you try to get her in the mood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that ain't it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna do that. That's you what we're not to gonna do. And get, and get to handle your business. And she said she had to get up anyway. Listen, he need to listen to some Teddy Pendergrass. Teddy said turn off the light. Okay. He probably listening to Novocaine. Mm. Yeah. Definitely Novocaine. Tornado. A tornado blew around my room before it made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that, all that, all that. So, um, what was I going to say? All right. He, oh. he da, da, da. so, so this conversation that they're having, they basically decided to end things right there. Mm -hmm. It was a wrap. So, so she went on and left early. You know. But did you, did you catch how that ended? Huh? Huh? What? Tell well, me tell how it ended. Okay. So when it ended, like, uh, you know, if he walked off or whatever, they caught the phone call. Hmm. They caught the phone call where he done called his home and was like, yeah, it's late now. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know if that man said bae. Oh, I didn't uh, hear that. But it was hmm? something. He was like, all right, I'm on my way. I was like, mm-mm. Already about to go. I didn't even hear that. After he had just told her it ain't going to be an every night thing, now all of a sudden it's an every night thing. Like, mm -hmm. now you can rip on out. Yeah, he was going to go out anyway already if that was planned. Tomorrow I'm on my way. Right. He said, right. Um, and that was the end. He did stay on that phone. It's a little too much for my dog on like it. <laughs> oh, grind the child. So, uh, not right. okay. So, we talked about that couple. Then, who else we got? Uh, The cute couple, they, they just never went through anything like that. It right. really, yeah. They never, <laughs> it was more the only issue they had is her not want is him, uh, him not want her to get pregnant right now. Mm -hmm. Her not want to take birth, be control. birth control or, yeah. But I thought it was cute when she said, you know, I can't marry you unless my my dad approves, and the fact that he did approve, I thought that was adorable. That was cute. Mm hmm. This is not a contest, Rex. No, but if you would like to send us cash apps uh, for appreciating the hard work and art and content that we are actually giving because not many do, feel free. Feel free. And we, we thank you in advance. You can choose a first and second and third place winner. Just send the cash apps. You don't even have to tell us who won. At this point, I'm just looking for shit to paint. <laughs> You just paint anything. Look, that's why I said I'm gonna stop. I, I think I um look I did my outline, so I really wanna I'm gonna are you good? Look, Tony not finished the whole thing. I'm gonna have a bunch of unfinished pictures over here and it's gonna be okay. I just painted a goddamn pencil box. And I just literally mixed black and yellow together. You painted a pencil box, you know what? Yeah, you just over there. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. You're gonna move to the wall in a minute. I am move to the wall in a minute. I am. Yeah, I'm finna paint these fingernail polish holders. Look at the cow. <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to, I cannot believe I just mixed that yellow in with that black. I did not mean to do that. 
Oh no. Who else's um situation was intense during the after home, that coming back home? You know, I was wondering why they didn't show certain people's houses. Mm-hmm. That was different for me, but I think um also yeah, the other girl that had her roommate. Living quarters. Huh? They usually show where everybody lives. Yeah, they didn't show certain people's houses. Like I didn't get to see AD and where she lived. Mm-hmm. Um they showed the dudes. The uh, the other chick that had the roommate, I realized that dude did not. He said he did not like her roommates. Yeah, he did. Because and she was like, I'm married too. He was like, she was a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, he, was like, he will definitely not be living here. Yeah, no, <laughs> not at all. He could not see himself living with her. No. Um, so that that's, was kind of him and Chelsea. You talking about? And did you hear Chelsea when she was like pretty much on the side of we? I could kick her out. Uh huh. I was like, no, ma'am. Yeah, tomorrow we could just kick my roommate out. I was like, oh, that's crazy. Pick me. I was the roommate after that show and the show aired. I, I'd have moved out and left her hanging with the bill. Like, oh, you just looking for a nigga to come up in here and knock me out the way? Okay. Just get me right up out of my own spot. Like, okay, girly. Thought we were besties. <laughs> yes, a that's crazy. Uh, now, what else was there? Aside from uh, the dudes, it was a couple of dudes that were going out late. Um, the one that was supposed to be in that parking lot for that time frame, and the other one that went out with his friend who he had smashed. Oh, child, they had a lot going on. Around they had a lot going on. So then now was, we can okay. get to like the the part when at the end of this show, after they live together, they basically are supposed to. Um, go to their wedding, mm-hmm. and the goal would be for them to say "I do" when they get to the to the to the altar. The altar. Yep. So now that we are at the end, oh wait, wait, wait. Let's go back because you got to talk about the conversations that was had before the wedding day. Mm. And one of those conversations was Jim and Chelsea, mm-hmm. where he basically told her he couldn't do it. Yeah. And it all went back to that night when she outed him for sleeping with his homegirl. Yes. Mm. Yes. It was bad. He said he couldn't trust her with that. Like, that was something that should have been said. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, I'm just, you know, I'm sorry or whatever. But, ooh, it was nasty because the way the way it happened on camera, it was, I know you're fucking her. I'm like, ooh. You you her. Yeah. Yes, it, that was bad, and and it's so messed up because, like I said, I really thought that when he when he really like you know put his best foot forward after you know hearing him talk to AD, you know after being embarrassed about what happened, he was not trying to flirt with anybody. I felt like he was solid, and she he really was. messed it up. Her and her insecurities messed up her being married. Oh yeah, because even when he saw old girl and they talked and everything, it wasn't anything about that that seemed nope. inappropriate. Nothing. When they went to the wedding, let's get to that too because we skipped over that and went to the wedding. We can't, but I I did appreciate the fact that he was. I felt like he was going to be a hundred with her, and she just she freaking ruined it. She She ruined it, and then on the fact that he would like he would compliment her, like he told her like things that he liked about her, and she was like, "Well, what are you attracted to?" He said everything that I listed about you. Like even though, like I said, she wasn't his type. That man, you could tell he loved her. Uh huh. He was like, I don't care about all of that. I don't like, I don't care what your looks are. Like, I, I like you. Like, yeah, but the more she started talking, it was just like, okay, girl, I done made myself fall head over heels for you and your personality. And now I find out you're insecure and you're crazy. But let's go back to the, uh, you said the boat, the ocean, the water. The water. cabin. They went to the cabin. Yes. yes. And this is where another opportunity for all the couples to meet. But also when they got to the cabin, the people who they, um, who didn't Did get married so. showed yeah. up to the show to the cabin. Yep. So, so now this is the first time you have Sarah Ann, who Jeremy was out with until five a.m. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, Jessica, who Jimmy rejected. Yes. And you also have Trevor, who Chelsea rejected. And then you got a couple of extra people who. Were never picked. 
Mm -hmm. So one of the things that happened at the cabin was uh, Jessica, I mean, Sarah Ann and AD's conversation was interesting. Because AD basically confronted uh, Sarah Ann about that Instagram message that she sent to Jared. Yes. And she was like, I read it. Uh -huh. And said he had already chosen, but I'm not gonna lie though. During the reunion, they slick got her like that too, and was like, "Yeah, he was with who he chose." I said, "Oh," because she was yeah. not it, and that was her fault too. Uh -huh. That spiciness should have never even gave him a, a an opportunity to make you his second choice. Basically, at least not till after the show was done taping. And right. just let, if their relationship was gonna fall apart, you did not need to be a catalyst mm -hmm. to that because you ain't gonna get that muck out for you, girl. They're gonna wear your ass out from now until infinity. It was bad. It it definitely left a bad taste in my mouth because I'm just like, oh, the nerve of you, right? Like you know, you know that they still going through the situation and you send that message, like what? Right. And yes, he he. It was up to him to close the door on that. Indeed. But what did she say? Did you hear the part where she said he said he was going to close the door on the other one? Yeah, where he said he was going to end, end the, end the uh, Yes. And he tried to lie about that too. Talk about no, no, no. And she was like, yeah, during the reunion. She was like, yeah, no. You, she, you said, yeah, she, said it. It, she said, your girl said it. And he was like, yeah. And then they moved to something else. I'm like, good. Because if you let him lie about that story, honey, we all know she said it. I was just sitting there thinking, like, I was looking at Sarah Ann, like, uh, waiting on her to lie. Yeah, that one just, ugh. Ugh. She, yeah, I didn't, I didn't too much care for that one. Nope. Nope. And then the, uh, the ones that did get married, they was just so sick in love, honey. Oh. I, 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 I their families were in love with each other. Like it was just so much. They said the families talk to each other. Yeah, they said their families still communicate. I after all of to his dad every day. Yep. Oh, oh, hey, 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 chill. Could y'all be What's more perfect saying? for each other? They were very cute. They were very cute. It was adorable. You got me over here about to paint the other picture, part of my picture. Who I don't yes. we, stop. We, we, still, we still got some time left, too, though. What else was there before we get to this marriage party and I'm, I get upset about what happened? Um, Y'all? Yes. How that little, at, little abstract look? Hold on. What you got? Oh, Put my God. Hands. Hands. I actually now, like that. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> yes, he's a good I appreciate your pain. Thank you, Indigo. Thank you, Indigo, for dropping that. She dropped uh, all of our cash apps. Let's go. Uh, just my five is your cash app up because we. I told Tony just to put it as the name because the last time we did oh. the show, they were asking where was it. I so love. My, uh, oh, you put the name instead of just the little. It'll be all right. You know, it's fine. As long as you got it somewhere on the screen, it's cool. It is cool. Um, what else was there? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I think what we pretty much should have win now because I can't think of nothing else really yeah. significant that happens um, other than the cabin. It just sucked when they dropped out last minute. Before I thought they was gonna go to that wedding too, and then they dropped out that night before. And and she was like, "Well, you knew this, so why didn't you just tell me then?" Like, oh. You're my Chelsea. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay, so now on to the oh wow wedding day. Oh, so we my in lives, and now we are with two couples that are supposed to be getting married. We have Clay and AD, and then we have um, Johnny and Amy. So Clay and AD, uh, AD, uh, Clay, uh, AD is in her you know, in her uh, suite getting ready and, you know, her mom is there. But Well, let me let me just go back real quick before you do that. I just want to just give a shout out to their corny bachelor parties. Go ahead and continue. Oh, my God. The bachelor <laughs> and bachelorette parties was corny. AD turned corny. up at the party, though. 
Yeah, she she did and show was getting on that face on the chair and and mm -hmm. dropping it low low. Yes. <laughs> so uh all right, so AD is in her suite getting ready. She's all in love. Clay is perfect. I'm so excited and love him so much. And they had did the whole dress uh shopping and all of that. Yeah. At no point in time did he really show. Well, I do remember when he said when they first got together and he was and they were still on vacation and he said he was yep. worried about messing it up, mm -hmm. doing the wrong thing. That was um, when uh, of, his mom was like, "You can't take," <laughs> and her mom both said it. You can't take what you know what what us as parents did and and hold that on your back. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We're our problems. Those were our problems, not y'all. He, and he also made some another statement. I don't know if you caught it, but he had pretty much said, like, you know, would there be an issue if I don't, if I say no, you know, during this, like, can, is, can we, you know, do a later date? Oh, I didn't hear him say that. Yeah. And she oh, was like, kind of making it seem like, you know, like, uh, yeah, you know, possibly I would understand. Yeah. See, now, if he had have said that to me, I'd have been out of there. Mm -hmm. I probably would have gave up then when he said that. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. honest. Hey, well, Tony's uh, she said, Tony, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll probably the only person in here who understand my pain. <laughs> yeah. It but, is um, cute. You, you done almost all the water represents my sign. So she did Gemini, and the water represents my cancer energy. Let's go. So does the heart. Because, you know, as cancers, we love, love. Oh, it's so mushy and gushy. Yeah. Yep, it is. You're right. <laughs> well, okay. So Gemini's, you know, half of us love, love. And the other half of us love chaos. Okay. Okay. Now, can a Gemini find balance in between? Yes. Okay. Yes. No. That is a yes. bold face lie. Yes. 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 When our camera <laughs> leave you. She don't believe you can find balance. You think both Gemini, uh, Gemini's are crazy, both heads? My ex best friend is a Gemini. We live together. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. But see, here's the thing. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, we will cut you, but then we'll buy you ice cream. No, that's true. That's no, just no, I don't want you to buy me no ice cream after you just cut me, man. <laughs> they will. I don't, I don't want you to bother me. I would, <laughs> I'm bleeding. Take me to the hospital. Okay. Now, Wu, we going to come up with, uh, we're going to come up We you know, we still working that out, but we, we, we got you can go ahead and mention it now if you like. That's fine. We can talk about that as well. Okay. So, oh, we have a hot soup. A lunch. And, um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me go. You going to show her? Well, you really going to do this, Will? I'm nervous for y'all stomachs and your buttholes. <laughs> Just and anyone one. near either. And anyone near either one of them. Mm -hmm. That's going to be damaging. Just wear a diaper that day. It's fine. You're showing it? Or are you pulling it up? Oh, she's probably pulling it up. You guys be careful. I mean, I not be careful, but uh, just give her a moment. Okay, just so that right out. here is the soup. Campbell's Chunky Ghost Pepper Chicken Noodle Soup. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to be doing. Now, here's what it is. You got five minutes to eat it. All right? And mm. then for ten minutes after that, you cannot drink anything. But I got Two people already that's gonna ask us trivia questions. Oh my god. Wait a minute. They can't they can't drink nothing after that? Not for 10 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh, bless your heart. And who do you have asking the questions now? Because because you tell me. Okay, now ask them the question. Okay, now the men. No, are yeah, like you said, you had somebody. You gonna you gonna pick somebody around that time, or you know, wait. The men are scared to eat the soup, so the of men course. are gonna ask the questions. Okay, now okay. Um, so far we got Broadway and Big Leg asking the question because the men. Okay, are so they're gonna be on it. Okay, perfect, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That'll work. And so far in the competition. We had Wu said she wanted to be in it. Spoka said she wanted to be in it. And Demetra said she wanted to be in it. Let's go. You see how the ladies ain't stars. stars. I got to take this down so I can get to my stars. Uh-oh. What's going on with them stars? They literally do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, you good. No, I was just being petty. I was just saying, you know, you see how the ladies are not scared, but the men are. The ladies actually aren't scared to do challenges, and it seems like the men are scared. Like, I haven't seen, I'm waiting on the men to step their games up and come up with something. Like, we did do the versus battle, and salute to the versus battle where I spanked my bro. Um, yeah, but I really am waiting on, like, I, we're trying to uh, come up with another contest, and I don't know if you, how you feel about this, where um, people, you know, just join the contest. There's no other set rules except for you have to cook in front of us, mm -hmm. and you present your favorite dish. Okay. And we figured that would be a big wide range. You and whatever you present is what you present. Just make it look good. Okay. So we'll see how many people want to join into that. Um, we have people added to the prize, and I'm gonna add to it as well. Um, the prizes are gonna be going up. So y'all just yeah, bear with us and be ready. Thank you. I feel like I have to get this purple done because I done mixed it with a lighter color and might not be able to find that color when I come back. Um, La. Yes, ma'am. Timo got a one dollar sale. I just got a notification. Mm. You are so silly. <laughs> you are so silly. They stay having those sales. I, so I we gotta finish talking about this wig. Yes, let's go. Because it was just a brief intermission that uh, advertised the, the other stuff coming up. Let's go. Okay, so wedding comes. I like I said, old girl was in her suite, all happy and excited and in love. Clay mm -hmm. was in his suite. Um, I don't remember him talking to his mom, but I do remember him talking to his dad. Mm-hmm. And what was dad giving? Dad was actually encouraging him to do the right thing yes but there's one thing about that imprinted trauma and mm -hmm. like it's just there whether you want it want to acknowledge it or not and it's my personal opinion that when he was talking to his dad i think it just reminded him of everything about him that was not husband material just like his dad is what he felt like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that made him just go against everything he had been planning the whole time. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think that he really wanted to be with her. He was positive. He was working on himself. He was putting in the work that, I, that we could see. Um, And yeah, it just completely turned different. What got me was walking down that aisle like, you know what I'm saying? You had the conversation, you done went, you talked to your groomsmen. There was nothing about the conversation with the groomsmen that made me think that he was going to turn around or not do it, you know, not follow through with what he said or. Right. So, oh my God. Just, she was so beautiful when she came out. Let me just let, acknowledge that for the moment. Okay. Because AD definitely got a body. All right. Oh boy, was not lying. Okay. Yeah, had that ham hog sitting out there all greased up, oh yes it was out it was out AD had, was, a, yeah. AD had a split that went all the way up to her hip bone almost okay yes with nothing but yeah. dark chocolate sitting outside that thing that thing looks and good the, and the uh let's not for the veil said uh till death do us part wasn't it sure did it was so cute. I don't cute. think she got that one though. Cause I don't you don't think she that. did? I thought she did. 
Maybe she did, but I don't remember her having that on. It's because her wedding didn't last for too long. Never mind. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So she walks down this aisle. It's all beautiful. You know, the, the family's walking down. Um, the mother had gave her this nice speech before. And, um, and oh, then... Heirloom jewelry. Yes. Yes. And so she gets down this aisle. She sees him. He's smiling. Just everybody's smiling. It's, it's just a, a, an amazing moment. Um, it was giving a little comedy. You could tell like it was some nervousness there because they was joking around a lot. Um... What really hurt my feelings was AD and those eyelashes and how the TV people just let her do that to herself. Ooh. But her eyelashes were floating and flying all over the place. They was detaching from the eye itself. Um, the most season. And I was just like, well, it's okay. She's emotional. He went to go spill his guts out to her and say, like, you made me a better person. And, um... Wait, we're gonna um, talk about we gonna talk about them eyelashes when he was standing there basically telling her he don't want to marry her right now. Oh my god. And they was just a fluttering baby. And when she got back to that suite and they put that camera on her, they was gone. Was gone with the wind, baby. Gone. Those lashes were snatched off. They were not on her face anymore. <laughs> It hurt me though. Like when she said I do, I was like, oh, and then when they got to him, he I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. His and face, she said off, that I I his face prediction, baby. She did. But his face changed when they even got to him. If you if you saw that in the beginning, it was uncomfortable. And so I'm like, why is he looking like that? Because he knew he was gonna tell her no. Yeah, it was a wrap. He knew. Yeah, that was thank cold. you so much, Wu. And some people are saying that um, that he was doing it for fame. Yeah, that's what it was given. That he was trying to advertise the Airbnbs and all of that stuff. And you know what I mean? Like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about the people that was there for bullshit. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 To, to my take it to reunion side. Because, yeah. of course, the other couple, they did get married and they ended up being happy. Like we said, their families love each other. Um, they were able to work past it. She didn't have to get on birth control. He didn't have to go do no vasectomy. And to be honest with you, I think they are going to be looking for a child sooner than they thought, like sooner than later. And I think that they're going to be in agreement with it. And it's going to be so cute because they're just so sick in love. As wow. far as um Clay and AB, uh, I think I think that uh they still fucking. So what else now? We're going to the reunion. Uh, Trevor with the mullet. Hmm. Trevor, Mr. Trevor, Mr. Oh, I thought he was just a big, loving, innocent teddy bear. Innocent. Man. Yes. Very I innocent. Really he came with open love. I thought he was green and innocent, looking for love, child. Mm -hmm. Why are the people that busted? Well, somebody popped him. I'm assuming it's his... Um, now probably ex i don't know yeah possibly because she sent the message you seen where they when they put them up they were messages from her side from her so I'm, I'm assuming she found out about that show and then went ahead and messaged them she did well she knew about the show already she just sent the messages in because she yeah. probably didn't like the way that all of that went hmm. i'm sure she didn't so she sends the show messages that, sh that Trevor had sent her before and after he was on the show. Mm -hmm. In these messages, before he went to the show, he was talking about how he um, loved her and couldn't wait to be with her. And yes. da 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 da. And da 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 da. And mm -hmm. then when he left the show, he told her he couldn't wait to marry her. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is someone who obviously was not on the show. And she said she was crying and how, you know, he just had to, to he had to do what he had to do to look a certain yeah. way for the show. Yeah. Yeah. It's all fake. None of it's real. Mm -hmm. yeah. I could not believe that that was the case with him. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I, that was a shocker because I seen him come. And I said, oh, look at me. I see he got the mullet back. We're gonna hear some news that him and old girl Chelsea or something is is, is with it. 
And that's just not what it gave. It gave, he said, I had a and look, he hit he put he hit us with that speech again. I had a speech all planned out. I had something to say already. And then when he got caught up in that mess, it was can I go? Mm. All right. Can I just leave? Can I just <laughs> leave? Like, but you, I mean, you did dirty. And then you tried to blame it on TV and say, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you got people thinking that all of this is set up and it's fake. They don't like that. Nick and Nick and Vanessa ain't going for y'all making yeah. they show like it's a play. Nope. Even though some of it was, let's keep it real. They like we ain't want no play. Yeah. They said no, nah, that ain't us. That's that's definitely most definitely not us. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny though. Um, <laughs> who else was busted out? They said it because they said they seen those messages. Um, it was something else. Oh no! When, they, oh, when old girl, the the light skin chick. Uh, God dang, I cannot remember her name to save my life. Not light skin, but the girl with the blonde hair. Laura. When she, uh, when Laura went to talk or whatever, they were um, she was questioning because you know she wasn't there, but she was questioning like, did you kiss her? Like when you oh, see yeah. her and all that, yeah. Hmm. And she said, I most certainly did not there and look the fucking miss. By the way. Hope, I don't know who told her, her to get that pink curl pin up up do like she was finna go get married that day. It was not. It was not doing it. Oh, that was awful. I said she ratchet as hell with this damn pink curl. <laughs> well, maybe all she had. Look, my best pink curl. <laughs> that might be all she had right there. They look broke. It was, uh, just I, I just don't believe. There's nothing honest about him. I just honestly, I, there's nothing honest about him. Yeah, Rummy. Mm -mm. Because he kept lying about so many things. It's like, what are you lying? Why would you even lie and say that when you drop location, bro? Like, just keep it real at this point. And then what they said was he didn't realize that dropping his location would, uh, that they could still follow the locator while you, like, once you're done with that. Right. I mean, that's how they was able to follow from the bar to the house. But you said you stayed in the parking lot, though. Why not tell her the part about, hey, I had to, you know, drop her off or, you know, she needed to ride home. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even going to lie to you. Even if my man did have to go out and do something like that, you better let her Uber. You better not give, you better not open your car door for nobody. First off, don't sit in no parking lot and talk. That I was a dumbass. That was either a rookie move or he just ain't give a fuck. And I understand why it felt like because that's what it looked like. Yeah, that's exactly what it was given. He didn't care. Not one bit. I'm one done, bit. Fine. You are, and I was almost done. I got look, I'm gonna finish my other part because we've definitely went two hours and 48 minutes. I appreciate everybody. That's good for my watch time hours, though, for sure. So um, I haven't finished this part because I have something else that I wanted to do unique on that side. But yes, it's a wrap. Pull yours close again. What do you do? Look, go ahead, pull yours closer, Tony, so everybody can see. I think she stepped up for a minute. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was always at the same time. Salute, salute. <gasps> Ghost, hey, baby. Don't nobody touch Ghost. Okay. Looky. What you think, baby? <laughs> That's a little fire, a little water. It all comes with the love. I'm gonna put yours up on a big screen. Hold on, let me go ahead because I can. Um, I think all of us did a good job. Just my five, even with your hands, okay. Even though you <laughs> had to go with your hands, sweetheart, you did. You listen, you did your thing, okay. So <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about to put your solo so they can see it. Oh, Just shit. one big time. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, now do your thing because I'm about to smoke real quick. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, solo. Here we are. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Thank you. See my color nice. transition. Uh -huh. like <laughs> Let's go. Um. Okay. You ready for uh, just my five? Mm hmm And just my five added something to her so that she could hang hers up, which I thought was really cute too. Oh yeah. Was, Where's my little big, big Gemini energy? You didn't put it on yet? No. 
Where'd it go? You got to put it on big Gemini energy. Okay. And then here. Not ghosts coming up in here making me blush talking about sexy lady. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see it. I can't see them. You don't see uh you don't see Psycho the Alien? The ATL. Uh, I'm sorry, uh dang, the AT alien. Oh, I see it up there. Hey, ghost. Mm-hmm. 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 That is ghost. Okay, here we go. And then boom. I think that yellow made my colors pop. So I'm glad I did that yellow in the back. And I'm probably going to ask. I love it. Yo, know, that turquoise is my I favorite just, color. And that's actually me and Ghost, y'all. Oh. My favorite color is blue. And he purple because his color is purple. I love that. Yes, that's me and Ghost. <laughs> oh. So my three favorite colors is black, turquoise, and purple. And I, I'm a fan of silver and I'm a fan of gold. Okay. So yes, y'all got gold. all my colors. Are we in there? We are in there. So I really appreciate all of y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you, honey. I have definitely been sweating over here, but can I get back on this camera for a brief moment? I guess I can try a little bit. Um, the story, the the oh child. Ooh. Let me put my contact solution in. Y'all know I got a little issues over here. But the story that um the stories, the, the way everything played out, I I like the ones that got married. A D and, and Clay hurt me. A, a lot of the other ones did hurt me. And I wish that they really would have matched with who they were supposed to match with. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't happen because then we probably would have seen something a little different. And a lot of the, you know, messaging from the side type stuff. That was, you know, ugh. Not tasteful, but you know, I guess women have to go for what they what they're trying to go for, I guess, and step on other women's toes. I have to clean my contacts, you guys. They do that. There are plenty of them that have no problem doing that, baby. None. None. That is too cute. Just my five. So it'll go kind of like this. That is cute. Okay. Okay. Look, my hands look like just my five. <laughs> okay, so I didn't I didn't really get it was more of this. Like that's why I was rubbing paint off of from right uh, here. Because, uh, oh, you see, I got my thumb in my shirt, but I got it on my shirt. Paint, yeah. Well, see, my crazy ass was looking at my hand. I did pretty good today. Yeah. My crazy ass was looking at my hand and I saw something. So I finished it. What did you see that you had to finish on your hand? I don't know. It was abstract. Know, it. <laughs> <laughs> something, something. Mm, 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 mm. I have no clue what I'm going to draw next, but I think the next time we do go, I'm going to finish up my first picture in front of you guys so it can be complete. Because let me tell y'all, what's going in my head right now is what my mother, my mother used to say to me, um, and it's um, a jack of all trades, a queen of none. And so I'm feeling like I didn't finish this picture and I have to successfully finish this entire picture. And then I'll be happy. Yeah. So I'm going to do that for our next time. Um, if anybody else wants to add into it or join in, feel free to do so. Um, this is not just for us. We were just doing this to bring different type of content. We're going in a well, you know, positive direction. I've said that numerous times. Not everything has to be a negative situation. Um, and, and I don't bother having less numbers when it comes to this. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the greater you are and the more positive you get, the smaller that circle becomes. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, and thank you so much for everyone that did show up. Um, look for the cooking show. Look for Wu and Just My Five to burn um, an extra hole through their behinds from this uh, ghost pepper is it, am I saying it right? Just my five? There we go. Hold on. Let me thank you because you put it up early and I was doing my painting and stuff. So from the ghost pepper, uh, Campbell soup. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that that's going to be amazing. Yeah, I did. It, it, that's because of the viral video. It just kept going. Well, so we ended up getting up to 14, which was a shocker. So salute to everyone that showed me love oh. and shared my video. Um, so yeah, that ghost pepper soup, that's, that's, I'm nervous for you guys. And when exactly are you trying to do it? Like when is Demetra going to have hers together so I can come up, I can get the pictures. I did get painted. Now that, um, I was thinking, um, sometime within a week or two, give everybody a chance to get the soup, get ready, get prepared. Okay. Okay. 
psych themselves up. I'm nervous. I'm I'm nervous for every single one of you that are going to try this because I know for a fact what the noodles is like, and I know for a fact what the hot chip is like. And um, bless your heart, that's ghost pepper. Yeah, I wouldn't even try the ghost pepper alone. And you said that they can. You you guys cannot drink anything for ten minutes, or we just gonna go and see who 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 can make it the longest to up to that ten minutes, if not the whole ten. The peppers that came minutes. back from the dead to hunt. ten minutes. Eat. Ten minutes. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. See, I'm a bitch that put Scotch bonnet peppers on her sandwich. So you know, that was a Scotch bonnet pepper. Oh my god! It sounds hot, hot, hot. It it's fine. It's fine. But it's just, okay. So um, I guess we're gonna have to work on a time limit for you guys to eat it, or you just won't let you eat it at your own pace. It you just can't. A certain pace. No, you got five minutes to eat. Five minutes to eat. You gotta eat the whole five thing. Is up, the whole thing. After that okay. five minutes is up, you got ten minutes where you can't drink nothing. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we'll put the rules down in the community tab. Um, Wu, if you could send me a picture, just send me a different picture of you. Um, and then I need to get a picture. If you can contact the other people that are going to be in it and get pictures from them as well. Of gotcha. course, you know, I don't care if anybody streams. This is good content. It's positive. Share it. That's what I want you to do. Um, and salute to those two that will be catching this show and catching the replay. Thank you so much for stopping in. Uh, anything you guys want to say? Any positive notes? Any? Um, Can I get this out I'm myself gonna, I'm real in quick? I'm in a much better mood than I was in earlier. So I want to say thank you for encouraging me to do this. It was very mm -hmm. therapeutic. I'm glad you came. Hey, Chanel. Punch in her throat today. I'm glad you. I'm glad you showed up. And yes, you did not need to punch anybody in the throat. But I just want to let y'all know. I really just try to hold back from doing so much cursing, but I think I've been doing really good over here. Uh, fuck Clay. I just want to let you know that if you watch Love Is Blind, fuck Clay. Oh my. Okay. I don't care how good you look. He hurt my heart. You don't just wait until a woman gets to the owl and then you say you don't right there. You should have told her before or just don't show up. Yeah. You don't wait till she puts on a wedding dress just to say, I think I still want to date you. A wedding dress, walk down the aisle, stand in front of you. You give her this full spill on how you have put the time in. You love her. All of this only to say, I don't. <laughs> you could have called Maybe later. Maybe later one day. <laughs> yeah. I but, but what told me that they were still smashing was that when she was talking about, you know, she did go and see Michael um, or Matthew, whatever his name is. Matthew? Matthew. She went to go see Matthew. Oh, I didn't see that part where she said that. Well, let me. Well, she, she kept. I'll just say she kept looking to the right to, you know, touch his leg. Yeah, like, mm, no offense to you. Mm -hmm. They still, okay. they still dealing with each other. What made me think that they might have been before, and I ain't even seen that part, was when she was talking stuff to uh, Jeremy. What's his name? Jeremy or Jimmy? Uh, she was saying something smart to somebody, and then she looked at Clay, like to see if he was laughing. I was mm -hmm. like. Oh. No, mm -hmm. he's busy acting like he don't know you. It's they were so awkwardly, you know, apart from each yeah. other. That little... What it was giving me was that they might be doing whatever off camera, but he don't want nobody to think that that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. Right. Also, it was giving Chelsea and what's his name? The, the dude that had his little mix up. Um, they look like a little G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. You Jimmy, Chelsea and Jimmy, uh, it was given that they might possibly be still messing around, even though he said what he said and she said she's apologized, but he went to go put that hand on that leg and she went to go put her hand on top of his and was looking and I said, mm. And see, I didn't think mm. they, they, they were going to catch that. that. She, doesn't, she doesn't strike me as the type that would have the gumption to be like, no, you can't have me if you're not going to marry me. She don't. And what she already said that she 
we didn't talk about how, you know, that first, that argument where he was like, he didn't want any sex type deal. Like you basically, you oh, know, you, yeah. you, you, you were the one that wanted to initiate sex all the time. Mm-hmm. And that hurt her feelings too. Ooh, child. It hurt my feelings too, oh. though. Oh, I yes. never said nobody turned down no coochie before. That's oh, weird. Respect is a, you, got, you got a man that, that said he don't want to have sex with, with the... Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Well, he uh he said that she initiated it. Basically, he wasn't saying he didn't want to, but he was telling her she was clingy, and that she initiated sex with him, which gave to me, you know, like I, you know, I had sex with you because you threw it at me, but I really didn't want to. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately. Wow. Yep. Um, mm. mm-hmm. Remember that song, Bill? What'd you say? Remember that song, Bill? Bill? What about the song? I was ready for Mary or Jane or Jack or whatever the fuck. But all the time it was Bill who was sleeping with my man. Mm. Uh, mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. No, ma'am. I no, ma'am. Mm-hmm. We have hours one minute 57 seconds and counting and just my five and took me out with that song um oh look child. it up it's our bill mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to look it up by sure am I'm oh, not. By... <laughs> 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 you gotta... i'll tell you about this song look she she's not I don't going need to know about bill <laughs> so we can talk about Bill the next show. was <laughs> sleeping yeah. with Bill, and also what I really want to talk about on our next show too. When we do this, I really want to have a conversation about um, Charles. Your food is ready. Oh, did you see that picture? Did you mm. see? Did you see mm. the simple booty? You see mm. them kibbles and bits hanging out? No, child. <laughs> Ooh, Charles, your dinner is ready, Charles. Mm-mm. Charles, Charles, come eat, Charles. Charles looked real happy in that video. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yes, he did. Yes, Charles did look very happy. Ooh, um, that picture I saw today, though, that took me out. I said, Lord. Well, you, need to, you need to send that to me so we can have more to talk about when it comes to Charles. Because, child, I don't know. I don't know. But thank you all for showing up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I appreciate all the likes. I, I know you um, you have your show. I don't know if, when I end, all of y'all's ends too, correct? I believe so. Okay. Any, uh, last words for your people before I shut this bad boy down? Um, Good night. Stay away from plenty of fish. Because them bitches crazy. Stay away from a stalker, bitch. Yes. Then once you lose the stalker bitch, don't get back on plenty of fish. Don't. Amen. Amen. Might mess your location up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all wherever you may be, baby. Thank you so much for showing up to the stream. Peace. And fuck Clay. Good morning.